what's good everybody welcome back to the channel my name is nonfiction my co-host zach is here he's, he's he's finishing up before he get on live with us but he is here and we are ready to go for tcu georgia college football playoff national championship and man I, i'm actually looking forward to it I, i've been watching some games off a little bit here and there throughout the uh playoff system and it's been pretty some pretty fun fun football um George looking to go back to back for national national titles. TCU, who have not won a national title since 1938, this is a they're definitely the Cinderella team. So, will the story continue have a happy ending, or will it end with the back to back wins for Georgia and Stetson Bennett? But uh, we're about to get ready and get into it. To be honest, once again, thank you for joining the channel. Appreciate you. Love you guys. <coughs> We're, uh, we're waiting on them to get settled for the pregame show. The, also, the, the game is taking place in Los Angeles, California at SoFi Stadium, which is a very beautiful stadium. Very beautiful stadium. Oh, there's a lot of red in that, that stadium. Did you watch red. the uh, Tim the Tatman um, thing? No. What Tim the Tatman thing? Tim the Tatman was streaming from there today. No, I didn't watch nobody. Yeah, him, and, no him, and, him and him uh, and Nick Merckx were were streaming outside of SoFi, and all the uh, all the TCU weird. fans were giving uh, Nick a bunch of bunch of trash talk because he's a Michigan fan. Oh, really? So they were in the background just roasting him. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, because uh, <laughs> see, I think GA gonna beat the crap out of TCU. Don't don't. Don't be so quick to, to disregard Texas Christian University. <laughs> to be to be honest, Georgia has been the best team this year. But oh. in saying that, TCU has been playing with some spunk, man. And I think that win uh, against Michigan last uh, the other week just proved that they belonged to be here. Everybody was saying, oh, Bama should have been there. Mm-hmm, I, you know, mm-hmm. even I was on the fence that there might have been some other teams. <laughs> yeah, me, been me and you had some conversations. I was like, come on, man. Yeah. I was, you know, I, played. I talk about it all the time. But, I went to Fresno State. You know, I'm, I'm I'm all about small, small, small campuses doing doing big things because small schools can win too. They definitely, we definitely get the talent. We just don't get the limelight like the SEC does. But um, I would say don't disregard their defense. Their defense is very opportunistic, and definitely looking to take advantage of this Georgia offense. The thing that TCU is going to struggle with is that Michigan came out and made horrible mistakes, and that's what feed mm-hmm, TCU's mm-hmm. momentum going into that game. They oh were yeah, feed off those six, mistakes, yeah. and then and then felt like they were here and they you know they weren't trying to win; they just had to not lose. They were better than Michigan at that point. You, they I cannot agree. expect I the agree. same thing come from Georgia. Georgia is not going to make those simple mistakes. Not the national championship, not like this. I think we saw the worst that we've seen Jar- uh, Georgia all year against Ohio State, which they should have lost if it wasn't for the blown kick. Mm-hmm. So TCU better get ready. It's going to be oh, a good yeah, they, they, I'm hoping I, it's a good one. I want to see like 35 to 32, bro. I want it to be high. Uh, I want it to be a shootout too. I want it to be a very exciting shootout. And that's the one thing I like about college sports. It's very unpredictable. Very unpredictable. There, there's games we can say, oh, well, this game's going to be a snoozer. It turned out to be game 45 to 42. And you're like, what the hell happened to this game? <laughs> like, who woke up and said – I'm coming to ball tonight. So TCU and Georgia, you know, 14-0 for, for Georgia. TCU 13-1 uh, lost, the, I think, the last game last game of the season by a field uh, last-second field goal. Um, it, this could be a very, 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 very interesting game. You know what I'm saying? Two players, two, uh, qu- two quarterbacks that, you know, even though they've had successful seasons with the, their perspective schools, Neither one were looked at, at at one point as being superstar players. Like neither one. Max Dugan is Stetson Bennett, but now Stetson Bennett proven that he belongs up there with the upper echelon of, you know, top NC two A quarterbacks, being that he's going back to back, possibly winning back to back. there's only been two quarterbacks really that's done that successfully in college college sports that's been there for a long amount of time. But we'll see. We'll definitely see. Uh, Mr. Right Tim now. Tebow, who just got elected into the college hall of fame. Yeah, yeah. So we're doing, let's see, 
Oh, they're doing national. They're doing national anthem. And once again, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. What's up, Cheesehead? Uh, what's up, Mazi? I did see Diego a little bit uh, at the very, very beginning. Hope you guys are doing well. Said so, uh, Mazi said, "Go Christians." Cheesehead said, "Go dogs." I, I, and that's another thing about college sports. There's always going to be division, and I and I like it. I love this. There's always. You're oh, never yeah. going to be like ah. Somebody, you're going to pick a side. You're always going to pick a side. With the, when we do like the professional games, people just want to watch sports. Is this Pentonics? I didn't see the. I like Pentonics. Pentonics is dope. If you never heard Pentonics perform, they're oh, their that's who's singing it right now. I think that's Pentonics. If that's them, their ability to sonically do music is amazing. <laughs> like they're so talented. Mm -hmm. They're so talented. Um. So I need Zach to come back with his outfit for this game. <laughs> bro, it's all packed up, bro. It's all packed up. <laughs> I know he should have dressed for him, for, but he, he he's he's definitely for Georgia. So it would have been opposite. You know what I'm saying? Uh -uh. No, 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 no. <laughs> He's big school you. He's I don't like, you. I don't, I look, I don't, I don't like Georgia. <laughs> like, I don't like Georgia. I don't like Alabama. So, no, I Georgia is home to the Atlanta Falcons. Like anything over there can go, you know, piss off to me. Well, I mean, I've, um, I've always liked TCU, especially when I actually went to Pro State. We played them twice, I believe, when I was there. When I was there, and they've always had a lot of talent. Um, but like I said, I'm, I'm always, especially when it's a small school, I'm always going to push for the small school every time, just because. More people need to pay attention to small schools. Small schools can do a lot more damage if we had the same resources that some of the big schools do. And now with the how the NIL is there, it's making it more possible. You know what I'm saying? Oh, let me pull up. Just... I'm just making sure I don't got anything on my face. So I hate no that worries, like, no super worries. fast. <laughs> <laughs> make sure I ain't got no chili on me. <laughs> oh yeah, some chili chili cheese dogs. Oh yeah. Uh Cheese has said by the way, we don't talk about that Packer game. Yeah. That that was tough. <laughs> <laughs> that was tough to watch to be honest with you. Very tough to watch. No, I'm gonna talk about it. <laughs> because your Packers go and win the week before and we needed them to lose. They want to yeah. make, not make the playoffs anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Hmm. Oh my god. Hmm. Oh. Um. Molly says. Oh wait. First, she has said. Well, I don't like LSU or the same tech. <laughs> 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 understandable. Understandable. Mozzie, I'll be honest. I've never heard of TCU until I saw the hype about this uh, game this week. Yeah, and it's, like I said, because I come from a small school, so we play TCU. And usually small schools, you pay attention to the other small schools because even though big schools, quote unquote, have all the talent, small schools have sometimes even better talent that nobody pays attention to just because they don't get the TV time that everybody else does, you know? Well, I mean, I don't think it's not that they're not undoubtedly don't have talent or like talent among them. I mean, a lot of a lot of the players that are in the NFL don't come from like huge big name schools. Oh, yeah. They you know, a lot of no them are schools. smart schools. <laughs> The thing is, is that when you play for these smaller schools, you have a chip on your shoulder. You're looked down as not good. It's oh, that yeah. Yeah. most of these big schools are just filled with so many more five star athletes and stuff like that. They they normally physically outsize them, but that Sometimes, doesn't mean yeah, that they're un, they're yeah. un, they're unbendable, uh, you know. Well, that's why I always liked when we when we actually make it to the bowl game because we end up we always played a much bigger school. You know what I'm saying? And when we come out and win, right. it's just like. It's just like the chef's kiss for the for the week I mean, for the week for us. Like, come on, man, y'all y'all came in and talked a lot of I big mean, a lot of big trash, <laughs> and uh, we uh we brought the hammer. I mean, look, shout out, shout out, shout out to Lane. They were uh two and ten the year before, uh, and then beat USC in the Cotton Bowl yeah. this year. Yeah, and people are arguing that USC should have been in the uh, if they would have won out, if they had to beat Utah, they probably would have took TCU's spot. Oh yeah, yeah, um. Said go, so go. Cheese had said, bro. I said up for that when I had finals at school the next morning. Oh, st oh stayed up. For, when he stayed, stayed up. up. What college did you guys go to? <laughs> I went to Fresno State. What's up, JG? I went to Fresno State. Um, I go to Nichols University. 
we want we want at we actually won a big tournament a couple years ago. I can't remember. It was like four years ago. I can't remember what the bowl it was though. It was one that we shouldn't have won. Yeah. See when and our the they got go <laughs> so the Bulldogs coming out with Matt Stafford as their guest captain, and then <laughs> TCU is coming out with a Danny Tomlinson. <laughs> oh, oh, I like that. I like Yo, that. Jerry, what's good, Jerry? How you doing, baby? What's good? What's good? What's good? USC, hella disappointing, bro. Hey, go two lane, bro. Go two lane. Two lanes right where I live. Uh, I had some family that drove out and went to that game. Oh, yeah. I used to go play football at, at two lane all the time. I used to go out there on uh, every Sunday before the Saints games. So I would go and play. Internet is moving kind of weird tonight right now. Your internet is? Yeah, yeah it is showing that we're getting. They said we're going to kick it to the locker room. <laughs> the feed is moving slow. Yeah. That'd be all right. Flip was ahead. George is going to defer to kick. What's up, Laser? <laughs> laser Beam. Okay, what's up? Uh, when will the Omega video come out? The Ladies video. Beat, that, that video is out. <laughs> it's, been, it's been out, baby. It's been out. It wasn't as good, though, because my computer, like, had some weird crashy thing, and it was very laggy. But it it is out. I do plan on doing some more of those soon, though. Yeah, now his, uh, his situation is much better now. So yeah. he'll, he has better, a little better quality jumping, so he'll definitely be doing some more of that. Oh, and I did talk to somebody uh, about – uh, how to get my Wi-Fi better mm-hmm. as well. There's this thing. It's called a, it's called a, a mesh, I believe. I think in the send me the link, but it's like $150, uh, dollars. He was getting like 18, uh, download time. Yeah. Uh, and now he's getting o- almost, uh, I think he's getting like 180 download time now. Oh, okay. From that one, oh, yeah, from I, that I, single I, purchase. I forget you're, you're not directly plugged into yours. Yeah. No, I am. I am. Oh, are <laughs> but, you? Right. Yeah, but he says he said it's so much better. Um, oh, okay, okay. Lady Bean said, "When was it posted?" Uh, man, it was posted a couple months ago. Man, a couple a couple months ago. Um, at least the fungus cousin finished with the top sacks in Pac-12. Hope he gets drafted in the first three rounds. <laughs> Quay Walker is kind of dumb. Man. <laughs> That's what Douglas was doing. <laughs> Yeah, that that was crazy. I couldn't believe that that happened. I mean, yeah. I get in the heat of moment, you know, like like yeah. you just like you kind of just move, but like they had some people really defending him. Like, nah, he pushed him. I'm like, he didn't push him. What are you talking about? He he's stepping him to move aside so he can help the player. Yeah, but the kickoff is up for me. Nine, let me know once you see it. Uh, t- gone. They're about to. All right, kickoff is up in the college football national championship has begun. It's going to be about a four yard deep kick. It's going to be touched back for Max Duggan to come out with the offense of TCU Horn Frogs to see what they can do. What up, Nate? In the words of John Cena, the champ is here. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. So, Play Walker ejected two times this year for shoving a coach slash trainer. He's stupid. Yeah. Laugh loud, chill out. Yeah. That's the, the craziest thing. It's happened twice. And, and then 95 really should have something done against him, too, because he tried to buck up to him as well. So it was so insane. It, it To me, when I seen the videos, I remember the first one, because the first one, we were actually on live stream when he did it. Um, but to do it again, it's like, what were you thinking? First yeah. and 10 for Max Dugan and TC Horn Frogs. There's going to be a false start immediately on the left side of the offensive side, off the line. And, and Nod said it. It's covered in red in there. Oh yeah, it's. I don't know. Man. I see some purple, man. I love. You know, my favorite thing about college football is like how they're divided by sides. It's yeah. all Georgia on the right. It's red on the right side, purple on the left. You know, oh, yeah. we don't get to see yeah. that with the NFL because Super Bowls are meant for celebrities and people yes. who can afford. You know, I mean, ten thousand dollar nosebleed seats. Yeah, I was gonna say that the cheapest ticket is twenty five hundred, and that's that. That's in the the Raptors. Uh, first and fifteen. Shift for the defense ball is snapped. Max with time. He's going to run out to the right hand side. Lobs it up. Oh, oh he just, got him. Just oh, you got it. He hit was him there. open. He was open, but the receiver just a little short. 
My says 95 thought he was I don't know how I feel about this camera right now, dude. I kind of like it. The low angles? Yeah, yeah. You saw yeah. that too, Mozzie? Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I kind of like it because I see what, you know, what he sees, but it feels unnatural. Yeah, it's because we're so used to being it being shown to a certain way, you know? Derek what Gale up, said, 40. TCU, what's good, Derek? What's good, baby? Quick pass to the flats. Quick pass, left side. Quentin Johnson get the, a game the, about four. The top six four receiver who actually almost did not stay with TCU once uh about a year ago. He's about to go to T, uh, to Texas, go to the University of Texas, and once they luckily they started making changes with their hierarchy, and then he decided to stay, which in the long run worked out because Texas looks in disarray, and TCU is uh in the national championship. <laughs> All right, Nate, have a good one, brother. Enjoy your WWE Raw. <laughs> Just remember, Nate hates college football. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I forgot to. <laughs> yeah, WWE is as, so as I can bring up as third and 12. <laughs> Dugan takes for shotgun, throwing right side. The ball's low, and he's not going to be able to get down and get it. Dugan, a little too excited. Oh, he didn't really step into that shot like he should have. Yeah, he was definitely. Well, you know, they're trying to, they're trying to, they're trying to play the route of small school big plays early to try and take momentum, but it just didn't work. You know, he didn't run the ball one time. Uh, I would have liked to see him just run the ball and just get some nerves off of him. This is the biggest uh, field that they're going to be on. This is the biggest game that for a lot of these people's career in life that they've ever experienced. They're going to have to settle in with these nerves since the punt's going to be short and it's going to be fielded at the 45. Stetson Bennett. It's kind of crazy to think that he, he was a walk on. Oh, you know, back you know back, what? Back to back uh, national championship. What? Okay, so we're watching the Skycast right now. We can watch, if you go to ES, another website, you get the other view, by the way. I'm on the, uh, the ESPN one. Yeah. I think that's what all I'm right. Doing. So Stetson from the shotgun. It's gonna be a, all kind of audibles, and again, start. there's all kind of flags. Lord, <laughs> there was so much laundry, hey. <laughs> so much laundry. We just got. Oh, look, I think both teams need to just Flag go into the, the locker player. room and reset. Like they are, they are <laughs> out their box right now, confused. Uh, who's the player to uh, look out for on on both teams? Um. I'll give you that's the guy. Realistically, this, this is a, this is a game of quarterbacks. Now the the wide receiver, uh, uh Johnston Johnston on uh for for TCU is the star six six four two. I think it's like two ten. He's a star. He's a star. He's compared to CD Lamb. Hold on one second, you guys. That's a good comparison, especially this year. He's been tearing it up. Yeah. Now let's so it's gonna bring up uh second and eight after the run. Ball snap looking to throw. He's going to throw over the middle. He's gonna find the open receiver. Man. When when is the last time you've seen a uh, number one wide receiver be white in college? I feel like it's been a minute. Brock Bowers can <laughs> go ahead and get the first catch for uh, Georgia. Yeah, Brock Bowers. Actually, we have a, a a short with Brock Bowers from early in the season. Actually, really talented receiver. Mm-hmm. So I mean, he's he would be the, the number one option for Stetson Bennett as well. But like like Zach said, both of the quarterbacks are the bigger names or the bigger story, especially Stetson Bennett being a walk on at Georgia. And not even, not even seated as being a, a pliable option before before he actually got started position. Ball's gonna get thrown. The flat's gonna be up near the first down marker, but there is a flag on the play. <laughs> he said, "I'm in the Mega video." <laughs> <laughs> La- Laser, what um, who are you in the video? Who who are you a fan of? I do. I remember. I remember seeing your name, but I, I can't remember who it was. The penalty is going to be on the offense. 
I think once both teams kind of settle down, it'll be different. It'll be different. But yes, yes, Laser. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. <laughs> Officially being part of the channel. So Georgia has a bunch set. What's going to be a player in motion from right to left. Play action fake. Pass is going to be to the flats to Bowers. Bowers with a nice aggressive run after the catch. Picks up, looks like about 10 yards on the play. Um, uh, I was with my for... friend in the uh, in the Chiefs. Oh, the Chiefs. yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I remember you now. I remember you now. Okay, how's that look? The one thing also too I love about college sports. All right, so it's gonna bring the up bands. Three. <laughs> love, me. I love the yes. bands in college sports, man. Second and three, it's gonna be a handoff to Milton. Still. Picks up the first down, goes down about the twenty-two yard line. They're gonna put him down to twenty-one though. Um, they're gonna do this play. I think so at another the, time because the... Texas is gonna take it once himself. I guarantee you that. Oh, without a doubt. Uh, another play, or I was going to say, the Pelicans actually the other day had um, a big high school band. Uh, they booked them out a whole section and had them playing in the uh, Smoothie King Arena the other day. That's cool. I didn't think you could do that in professional sports. Apparently yeah, you can't. you can't. Sick. It's going to be a Stanton Stanton with a run this time. I told you. He's free. Touchdown. And he's in the end zone. No touches. I, I said he's going he's gonna to run one in himself. He called it. Be a touchdown. Literally called it. <laughs> He likes to he likes to do the keepers. It's gonna be a twenty one yard uh, rushing touchdown for Setson Bennett. People don't expect him hey, to, to be as fast as he is. Bet to do a uh, touch to do a touchdown for him or uh, or TCU's quarterback, and I picked TCU's. Oh yes, uh, Dugan does he does run, but. I, Stetson always – he's always running, bro. Oh, yeah, no, always running. Yeah, no, I know. When they, people look at him, you don't think, you don't see him as a runner because he can gun that ball. He can sling that rock. Uh, that ish specifically tricked the hell out of me. <laughs> or, he told you what was – or not told you what was going to happen. You still got tricked? Damn, bro, come on. Figure the, it out. Figure you know, it out. It sometimes up, I tell you guys the Nasser Dominic just kicks in, and, and that time it worked. It's just – it's a 50-50 thing. It's not all the time, but it does happen. It does work sometimes. <laughs> but uh, once again, guys, if y'all just tuned in, the score is now 7-0. Georgia taking the lead over the smaller school, TCU. Can TCU, TCU pull it back in? If you are here, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you take part in the poll. We got the Horn Frogs, the Bulldogs. College sports are better or don't care, but I'm here. Let us know. And uh, enjoy the show. And don't guys. forget to like the video, the live stream. I was probably in the kitchen for real. <laughs> what you what you whipping up, Forty? <laughs> Forty probably got pizza bites and Gatorade. Pizza bites. <laughs> he always be snacking, bro. Always be snacking. Lord. About to head back to work for OT. Love my brother. Man, <laughs> hey, all up, Mozzie. Uh, Thank you for stopping by, man. We work. appreciate you, brother. I've, I've officially jacked my uh, my friend's T-shirt because he never came and claimed it after buying it. So I stole it from him and I'm wearing it. <laughs> It's uh, uh, 28 to 3. <laughs> Just, you know. <laughs> He's at Pizza Bites and Gatorade. <laughs> Not my real Red Baron Pizza. I, was, I, I knew I had to do I knew I had to pizza. A, yeah. a little better. A little bit better. Red Baron's always got a cool little taste to it. <laughs> I was so mad. Well, not mad. I was like, uh, I, I thought the game started at 7. I didn't realize it was I 6.30. Too. I didn't get to go get my beer yet. I'm so upset. I'm ho I I tried to jokingly convince my mom to grab me some beer on her way back from work. I was like, here, take this. And if you feel like stopping, <laughs> grab me a six-pack. 
<laughs> you need to have you need that. to have some already there, man. You need to be ready, prepared at all times. I mean, I've been I have I haven't been home. I haven't been home. <laughs> And no, I can't do that, Nam, because I like to drink. So if I have beer available, I'm just going to drink it. So that's why it's just better for me to buy a six pack at a time. That way, I t- I'll just drink it when I have it. You, you know? need a, a curse, a case of emergency, like breakable window, so you can break it and get the beer. Yeah, you know what? That might be that might be the play. I might have to look, I might have to invest in something like that. All I know is I was hanging around my my friend's house the other day. He's building his uh, gaming room. And his game room's like the size of my it's like a bedroom. Yeah. But it's and dude, it is just so nice, all the stuff he wants to do with it. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, Andre, you're gonna make me go broke because now I want to buy all this stuff. I really want a <laughs> VR setup now. Like really bad. Like really bad. <laughs> what up, Diego? Yeah, I watched Diego. Um, What's good, baby? Like Foosley, a couple of them do uh the VR setup. Kickoff yeah. goes to the back of the end zone and I even looked it up, and it's the the some of the VR setups they have the very mo- the more expensive ones, but mm-hmm. I've seen some as cheap as like I think I want to say like thirty five to fifty dollars. Oh, really? So, wow. Yeah, I don't, I don't know as far as the quality of it, but I've seen some really cheap. Yeah, but you still play it. Yeah, yeah the one he has, I think he said it was like a grand, but yeah. his like. It tracks your fingers and everything, so it's insane. Yeah. All right, so it's going to bring up first 10 for the 25. They weren't able to get a first down the last time they saw the field. Let's see what the offense can do this time. Ball snap. Dugan's going to go ahead and keep it. Georgia is not playing. They saw it coming from a mile away. They're going to sack him. Yeah, Georgia's defense, you can't, just, you can't just try to pull anything simple like that. It's too easy. That's what makes this George team so scary. It's this defense. Oh yeah, this defense yeah. is going to be on them. They gotta, they gotta get some quick, uh, quick passes, little screen routes, little dump off pitches, something like that. Get get your playmakers in space, and try to just get that line to back off you a little bit. Because early in the game, you're not going to get away with these little trick plays like this. No, the, the, this defense is hungry right now. You said Duga to the Titans. You know what? He'd be better better option than what you guys have. <laughs> <laughs> I would trust him before I trust the quarterbacks you guys have right now. Uh, Forty, who do you think y'all are gonna sign? Y'all's offense coordinator. I saw a bunch of Titan people wanted uh to get uh, uh Kinsbury. So that's gonna bring up a long third and fourteen. Go on, get some momentum back your way, TCU. I love the fact that the the band is playing. Uh, Star Wars right now. I love that. <laughs> Ball snap. That was, they're playing Dark Raiders. He theme. has a lot of time, but nobody's open. Yeah, nobody's open. Great coverage. They're trying to head to the tight end. Duggan. I keep wanting to say Dugan. Dugan just sounds so much cooler. <laughs> but they're going to call holding on defense. Oh, a save. Uh, that a was save. not holding. I don't think that was holding. That was not holding. I can agree with you. you it was not holding. You're seeing the... You're seeing that view that I'm seeing too, like from behind the quarterback. No, I'm I'm on the regular ESPN view. Oh, you're on the regular now. Okay, yeah. dude, I'm seeing it from behind the quarterback. It's weird. It is fun though. Like I see oh, yeah. exactly what he's looking at. I've watched that view on when you have um the NFL Network. They have the multiple camera angles. You can oh, you, you can, can watch it. That, yeah, you can watch that view on there. All right, so it's gonna be spread offense, first and ten. Player in motion, right to left. They're gonna go ahead and hand it to him. Jet sweep. Coming around the corner, trying to get outside. He's going to fumble the ball. I think TCU got think George, it. No, George, Georgia no, has Georgia it. Got it. Georgia got it. Georgia ran away with it. He w- Georgia it got it. It was such a beautiful play, and he just had to leap over that last defender, and he would have been able to get a first. Instead, he, <clears throat> he coughs up the ball. And Max Max Dugan is bleeding oh. on his, uh, his throwing arm as well. See, but this this okay, right now, here, this, is, this comes down to fundamentals. When you're the ball carrier and you're running and the sidelines to your left, the ball should be in your left hand. Yeah, you, you always switch that ball in the you side where you're switch. being tackling from. You're supposed to switch over. Yep. And the bad thing about that, when the defender actually interacts with the runner with uh, number 11, he doesn't even hit the ball. He grabs his shoulder. That just shows you how bad he's holding that ball. His form is absolutely terrible. Yep. He touched his shoulder, not the ball. 
Uh, 40 said, I have no idea, to be honest. I haven't looked into it. All I know is they fired Should be a little end around Bowers. Cuts back. Yeah, they fired, like, everybody. I did see that. I I'll tell you what I didn't like, though. Vrabel, like, came out and, like, kind of blamed Derrick Henry for that loss, talking about how you put your best player in there, and then he fumbles the ball, and it's like, that's not the guy that I think I'd be trying to put blame on right now. He's literally carried y'all's team the last, what, yeah, three or I'll four years? Yeah, i last three. Like, carried y'all on his back and the other team on his back, all at the same time. Play action, rolling out, throwing – Right side, nice ball caught. Oh, nice catch. Number 84. Wow. Am I ahead of you a little bit now? I think I might be. You're, you're fine. You're fine. All right. That was a Latin McCalkey. Uh, I think it's a senior. <laughs> what a great catch. Going up and getting it, able to control it in the air. Maintains possession as he goes to the ground. Good catch. All right. Gonna have player in motion out to the left side. Bending back there at shotgun number two with him. They're going to go ahead and hand it off to him. He's going to go up the middle for a game of just a couple. Let's see. I actually hear the I hear the announcer at the stadium too, which is kind of funny. Oh yeah, this yeah, is, yeah. Oh, this is oh, this is AT and T's five G thing. That's why. Okay, I got it. That's cool. All right, Bennett shotgun number thirty stand next to him, looking to throw to his right, cutting across the middle. He's going to go underneath to the check down. It's going to get batted by Bradford the third. They said they call him Nook. <laughs> they call him Nook? Yeah, Nook. <laughs> That's a great defense play by him. Able to uh, wraps around uh, the defender. Doesn't cause any contact before the ball gets there. Beautiful uh, coverage. All right, come on, TCU. You can't get it rolling on offense. Let's get it here on defense. Hold him to a field goal. Third and seven from the 10. Ball snapped. Bennett looking left, throwing left. He has a player, but he's going to get tackled. He's going to be tackled well short of the first down. It's going to bring up a fourth and four. At about the eight-yard line or seven-yard line? <clears throat> See, once the team has got to settle down, once they settle down, a lot of things start to change. I mean, and this is a great stop by the defense right here. It wasn't just like they, you know, Jordan wasn't making the plays. Great open field tackling. Uh, great defensive play by 28, uh, reaching over the top and uh, blocking down that pass in the middle. Stop the run. All things that are positive. Yeah, I 100% agree. <laughs> nice little corner kick for the field goal. Now Georgia up 10 to nothing. Two dollars. Oh man! What like Taco Bell? Well, oh, they oh, got yeah. these little burritos for like two bucks. Yeah, they all they little they little grillers be super cheap. Man, that's man, I'll tell you. Taco Bell, Taco Bell, you know they be doing their thing. <laughs> I, I definitely like Taco Bell. <laughs> All right, let's see. I would get up and then the camera freeze. I don't know why it does. Oh, I'm going back. Okay. Oh, that's what I'll do. Close that. What you about to do, man? No, I'm switching tabs around. So I could that freeze again? I did freeze again. 
Yeah, you did. Let me see if I can refresh it. <sighs> Do you have your Wi-Fi on? We're back to Razor. <laughs> Yeah, I'm about to. Yeah, I'm about. I'm 100 about to go. Which camera? See, what, see, see what my warranty is looking like. It's the Razer Kayo. It, I mean, it could need a far. It could need a far. It could need an update. I mean, that possibly could be it. I guess I could check that after. But I thought it was doing it with my other computer because my other computer was just slow. Like, so it's just something wrong with the camera. It's the round, it's the little round one. Yeah, yeah, the big all black one without the light. Yeah, I have my box somewhere in my closet. I'm gonna go check it out and see. But you should have got you a lot of tech. <laughs> got you a lot of tech. I mean, I thought about it. That was I was between this one and then the Logitech uh, Stream something. Telling you, all you need is uh, just right now the C920, 1022. Hey. Some of the best options. Georgia to kick off. It's going to be in the left corner. In this, it's going to be go to the left corner of the end zone. Interesting directional kicking. It's like they. It's like it's almost like they're afraid of the run, <laughs> the, the return. They're, it's almost like they're afraid, afraid of the return. <laughs> they definitely don't want to return it. Not even yeah, to the slightest. They definitely don't want it. You can see it. All right, let's see what Duggan can do this time. I feel like they just can't get off this twenty-five yard yeah, line. Yeah, I think they. I'm telling you, from just from, they need a first just, down. They need a first down. Just from That's like it. personal experience, it's calming down once they calm down that's all just calm down once you calm down every small especially small schools there's so much hype that goes into it and you look at you you, when you see the other team and you see how big they are compared to your players it's all kind of emotion that's going on trust me i well i I stand stood next to i just love how they they start here on that first and 10 and they just run the ball down the middle Get four yeah. yards. Just get a first down. Get comfortable. Yeah. Get this ball moving, even if it's slowly. But right now, y'all been going nothing but backwards. Just get the ball up, get a couple firsts, and then you're right back in this game. You don't want to take too long to get that momentum switch. Deep pass, wide open. He underthrows him a little bit. He's going to go ahead and do a little juke move. Going left side now, running baseline. Wide all the way open. Down God, into dog the 15. <laughs> and that's what you need. I saw it break off. Okay, you need to switch to this view. This is beautiful. Oh my god, it's well, so I'm, nice. I'm I saw the a, I saw the Hulu. player. That's why I'm a Hulu. Oh, you're on Oh, that's why. I literally was able to see yeah. the player break off of how that play developed, why he was open. Oh, so fun. Mm-hmm. Quick snap up the middle. He's gonna get a gain up to the six. There is a down Georgia Bulldog on the ground, 97. Number 97. He's the writhing Robinson? in pain. His sho- I think his shoulder's dislocated. Oh, yeah. I'm watching the replay for the play. And both defenders, both defenders went over to Johnson, who was, like I said, the number one the number one option for TCU. And they both bit on the inside uh, slant by Johnson. And at number 11, Davis was just wide open. He was like, oh, y'all not, y'all not going to pay attention? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, this, so this is how we're going to bring you this game, huh? So I do want to point something out that I thought that was really cool right there. While, you know, players down uh, on the field get intended to, you go look over at the TCU uh, side of the field, their whole offensive team is on the field. Those that, like, just get in random reps or, you know, just come in for design play, they're all in there, in that in that huddle. Mm-hmm. There's, like, 30 people in that one single huddle right there. It's yeah. just getting everyone together with unity, man. I, I, I'm oh, liking yeah. that. I'm liking that. That's what's going to drive them further than, uh, than what Georgia – that's one thing I do like about college. When I, I like coaches who are not afraid to gather them troops around them, 
and amp them up and tell them, hey, let's, this is what we got to do. To This is what we got to do to win this game. And then sometimes mm-hmm. when you have the right motivational speaker, man, it don't, it don't matter, man. It don't matter how good a team across from you is. If you got the right motivational speaker, do you believe you can run through 10 walls and still be fine? Um, yes, sir. Uh, Diego, if you're still here, bro, you'll be, you'll be happy to know. I'm like working on stopping the the thing. I'm now down to 1.8% nicotine. (laughs) I'm I'm in the, I'm in the method, man. By, by end of February, I will be done with this. Cool. Completely. Non, uh, will Brady be better for y'all than Carr? Doug and Tom Brady? No, let's let's not start those conversations, please. I'm not talking about that. I'm not, talking, <laughs> I'm not entertaining that conversation. <laughs> any any respective Raider fan never will never say, "Oh yeah, Tom Brady." I want a damn Tom Brady. <laughs> I would rather go winless the next three seasons than have Tom Brady. <laughs> if you meet a Raiders fan that don't have a have an attitude like that, dude, they're not a real Raiders fan. Dude, it's kind of it's I mean y'all y'all too y'all have a little y'all have a little more heat right because they took a Super Bowl away from you. But like as much as we hate Tom Brady, it's like you know, there's the rumors circling around that, you know, Sean Payton, you know, you know, Sean Payton and Tom want to work together. So there's some rumors spot around that yeah, he could, I've heard that, that too. Yeah. Sean could re, you know, recome with the Saints and then bring Tom over. And I'm sitting here and it's like I won't say no. I was like, but I'm not buying a Tom Brady jersey. I would never even think about it. I don't even want to see one. And I would <laughs> think majority of the Saints fans, you always have a couple, but majority of Saints fans wouldn't buy one either. So that's oh, gonna yeah, bring yeah. up second that's- and five at the six. Ball's gonna be handed off up the middle. He had a lead blocker. He's gonna get down just short of the first. I love this. Whoever that nice lead nice is, I guess that was run. 78. Beautiful uh, job at creating the hole. He comes from the outside and, and ends up being the lead for that back, taking out the middle linebacker to give him that space to get those extra yards. I think you run the exact same play. Oh, yeah. Or, you, you go right back to it. You only got one yard. Go right back to it and see what happens. You got to you gotta test the line. You got to keep testing the line. Yes, it's, it's, QB sneak it. Duggan! <laughs> and that's when you see Duggan keep it more like within the red zone is when you see Duggan gets – when he really wants to keep that ball, it's usually within that red zone. I mean, he'll run in the, in the, in the middle parts. What, Tannehill? Yeah, hell no. He'll, he'll run – I'll go – <laughs> uh, uh, I'll go winless again for another three seasons with that one. Tannehill, I'm telling you, Tannehill, it's, he needs to hang him up. He needs to hand the cleats up. He might be a better coach than he is a better a better player. <laughs> he might be a good coach, man. He might be a good coach. Um, the same FTB as a Bronco. Yeah, I'm sure, Diego. I'm sure. I don't think there's many people that really – I respect Tom Brady's game. I really do. Yeah, I respect like, like, I try not to be a hater as much as I used to be, but I don't want him on my team. I will say that. I just don't. But we know right now – Denver Broncos have requested to talk to Sean Payton. So oh, yeah. that could be interesting. They've already, yeah, they got a meeting January 18th, I think. Hmm. <laughs> I want to see this movie just off that one yeah. clip. You brown guys, and I don't mean that <laughs> racially because it's a UPS driver. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's one Chipotle thing. Like about Chipotle, they don't have freezers. Yeah, bro, they're I you know it's the oh, when people so say good. that Chipotle doesn't taste good. I'm like, so you don't like fresh cooked food? That's this, you're <laughs> you telling like, me you don't like fresh cooked food. That's all you're saying. <laughs> you you actually enjoy you, you like eating at McDonald's? Food. Is that what you're telling us? <laughs> yeah. You actually that's enjoy what, McDonald's? When people God. say, oh. They be like Chipotle and good. I'm like, so you, you, oh, okay. So you like frozen food? Okay, okay, I got you. 
Well, go back home, save you money, and, and eat your pizza rolls. Though. <laughs> Man, real tough. You know, I didn't really. Cause... Forty's got extra in his fridge. He'll help you. <laughs> He'll share. He got the Costco pack. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't realize that they never had freezer. Then one day when I seen the commercial, I actually went back to Chipotle and looked. I was like, they really don't have freezers. <laughs> they really don't. <laughs> I'm like, I've never paid attention to that, but they don't have freezers. They have a refrigerator. You can see it because it has a. Yeah, yeah, yeah like a walk in. Yeah. I was like, oh. I did not know that. Because they're, they're where my probably is. That's what am I right across the street from me. The back part, you can see from the front to the back. You see everything. And there's not a single fr- freezer in that, yeah. in that joint. He said, I ain't sharing no pizza rolls. <laughs> hey, you know what? I, I you are your mind. <laughs> my bad. My second my second roommate I had in college, man, His when his parents would come visit, they come visit like maybe like every other week. And he'd always convince him to take him to Costco's, and he'd get that that Costco pizza roll pack. Man, them things would be gone so quick. <laughs> we we partake, and then just be a just hell of pizza rolls just thrown in the microwave. <laughs> I love how my uh my phone just notified me that you sent me a video on uh Facebook, which you sent me yesterday. It just it just <laughs> notified me that. <laughs> Gotta love that. Gotta love that. You said absolutely not. <laughs> That's too funny. <laughs> no shot in hell. Get your own pizza rolls. You can't even use my oven. <laughs> oh, it's so good to see you actually be able to type in here again. Yeah. I just <laughs> I was I, you know, I'm so used to switching to the other profile that I was I just from habit switching over, I was like, let, let me do the regular one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my mom works for a facility that mass cooks the meats and beans for Chipotle. They do their own chicken though, and it's all Mexicans uh, cooking there too. So 100% authentic. I was, thank, thank you for <laughs> telling fair. me that. <laughs> now, now I have that when people say Chipotle, I'm like, no, it's really. I say, I, I have evidence. <laughs> it's all it's all Mexican. <laughs> return for Georgia gets to about the 29. A lot of shoving going on. I'm down with that. Let's get fiscal. It's about time. It's yeah. national championship, guys. You know, and the thing is, like, why I think, like, I love the national championship so much is that for a lot of these guys, not not all of them, but a lot of these guys, this is going to be their last very time true. playing football. You know? Very, very true. This is This is, you know – a whole life's worth of dedication to a sport all being displayed right here. It's going to be a quick throw out to the left side. He's going to run across field. McConkey. It's going to get a nice little gain. McConkey on looking like Renfro running through the running through all the traffic like that. Boy, he, boy that move that Renfro pulled the other day. Oh, that yeah. That quick stop <laughs> where he like almost did a split. And he's like, oh, just duck, he ducked under the defender. And my and kept jaw pushing. dropping, bro. <laughs> I was like, where has that Renfro been all season? <laughs> on the IR. <laughs> uh, Bauer, motion on IR, true. It's going to be a handoff right side. He's got a lot of lead blockers. He's going to break through one of them, finally brought down after a first down gain. Nice, tough run by McIntosh. I'm a little bit behind you because you, you have the nat- you have the the straight from the stadium <laughs> camera. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I remember when TCU first came to Fresno State, we were like, what is the damn horn frog? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know they actually have a real horn yeah, frog? Like, yeah. <laughs> they bring it to games? What the Stetson heck? with time. Wide open on the left side. No one covered him. To Makaki. This will be they gotta they gotta give him the first down. I don't understand who was covering him right there. They literally didn't have a man near him, and they only had yeah. one cornerback on that side. It looked like um, they had a gut off his man to go tackle him. Yeah, definitely see where both defenses are struggling to contain, or not even to contain, but just to kind of stay up with the offensive side of the ball. They're too busy trying to focus on a single single mm-hmm. star players. It's too much attention given to them. 
Stetson with time, play action, pass over the middle, big wide open, McConkey right open for a touchdown. Touchdown, Georgia. They've they've targeted him four times in this drive, yeah. and not a not a man in sight any of the times. And and uh, once again, they're only focused on Bowers and Johnston, the respective number one receivers from both teams. He said Makaki with the Bukaki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go you stupid. <laughs> But both teams, just defensive side of the ball is just not calming down enough to really make it benefit either side. Kick up, the kick is up and it's good for the PAT. So seventeen to seven, Georgia Bulldogs, two forty three left in the, in the first in the first quarter. This is the first quarter, you guys. Just letting you know, it's just still the first quarter. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a lot of scores. The totals. Yeah. Let's just put it this way: the totals for this game was sixty-three and a half. Uh, I still played the overs. <laughs> like I was like, "There's no <laughs> shot. It's not. It's not going over." Yeah, the defense wasn't even ready for that play. They shifted late, and then the then the the player who was supposed to be over McConkey was nowhere near McConkey. He played the he played the receiver hit the slant inside and not playing his actual man. <sighs> Yeah, I think I think confusion came. He had one single deep safety back there, but that deep safety went towards Bowers, who was on the uh, right side of the field. He stepped mm-hmm. in, thinking he had safety help, but wasn't there. So there's a miscommunication right now, big time uh, for the defense yeah. for TCU. Yeah, those linebackers and the safeties are not on the same page in the DBs. They're gonna, they're gonna poof, get a little bit of a, a butt chew on the sideline. Okay. Gets back to the 21-yard line. I was like, I'm like, why is number five over there? I didn't realize he's on defense too. <laughs> I forget his college football, yeah. so like most of them play as well. I'm like, I'm like, why is he all the way over there, bro? Is he confused? And you can also have two uh, number fives. They just have to play on a different side of the ball. So that could be potential, too. Oh, true. They can't be on the field at the same time. All right, time. so it's going to be a nice little run. A handoff three. He has a gap on the left side. Di Mercado. Family is probably in attendance. Inglewood native. Once again, we're at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. First and ten. Dugan with uh, Audubon's line scrimmage. Johnston in motion. It's going to be a handoff to DiMercato. Gets to the left side. Picks up maybe seven. It's a great run. And, and I'm, and I'm yeah, loving this. Very, Just direct handoffs. Run. This is how you do it. You, they want to keep Georgia off the field. They they have to right now. Especially yeah. – especially, they're having serious conversations right now. I'm sure if they, if we get a shot at the sideline, you see every defensive coordinator player all circled around mm-hmm. trying to figure out where their mistakes are happening. Cause it's like we said there, we watched three plays in a row where a player unguarded is getting the ball. Oh yeah. Most Once definitely. you might excuse not three quick pass left side balls going to be the big, caught. The big tight end number 19. Another player that was uh, at Texas that came to TCU and just kind of really made a name for himself in college sports. I know that none of this really matters, but whoever started the whole like one le- a leg sleeve thing, I think that is like the sickest <laughs> like, look ever. Like I, the uh, the girl, I think you shared, you might have shared it to me. The girl from LSU that uh, oh, yeah. just broke some record or something mm-hmm. had that on. I was like, that looks fire. <laughs> Ball snap. Looking with time. It's going to get sacked. There was nowhere to go. So, and this is. Michael this Williams is, with the sack. And things like this is what are going to be big tells for, you know, even recruiters looking at du- uh, Duggan. The, when you have a good defensive team, 
it's not a matter of guys just getting wide open. It's throwing them open, being yeah. able to adjust yeah. to when they should be open and when they shouldn't be. You had a lot of time right there. Looking at the replay, there really wasn't much going on at all. But that's yeah. the third time now that he's had plenty of time, five, six seconds, and it's taking sacks. Quick throw out to the right side. It's going to be a little screen. It's not going to get Number much. 21, another backup running back. Maybe picks up one or two. And that should end the quarter, and it will. Mm-hmm. So far, it's actually pretty cool. It's been cool to be there. That's the one thing I do miss about being out in Cali is going to the Federal State games. It was always fun going to the ball oh, games. Man. The whole fridge. See if you got to share the house with the host. <laughs> yeah, that's not a vacation. I've definitely seen places like that on mm-hmm. Verbo, so I don't know what they're talking about. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, where it's like you can go and rent their like back house, and like I'm like, uh, no, I'm okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's the making of a, a, a horror film. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Have you ever stayed at like a bed and breakfast? Like like, a, like an authentic one where it's like the homeowners are there, you go sleep, wake up, they make you breakfast in the morning like type deal? I have not, but I mean, I've, I've seen them, of course. Yeah, I was curious. I, I hadn't either. I just... Always felt like that whole thing was just kind of weird. <laughs> like, like, I just wouldn't do it. Like, I'm just like, all right. Well, I know if I, if I ever did do something like that, I'd have to do a lot of research and really check a lot of reviews. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Make sure reviews are real <laughs> before I go anywhere. Because there's, there's actually a, like, you... there's a few places here in Texas. One is like, they have like... um. The tree houses, they have these tree houses, but they're they're basically uh-huh. like bed and breakfast tree houses in Texas, and it's supposed to be a little, a little further north, but I've seen some of the locations on different Discovery Channel thing. They look really freaking cool. They look really cool. I'm like, I, I, I oh, would yeah, definitely yeah. do that, but I just will feel nervous just knowing somebody there that that's watching over the facility. <laughs> it's not like a part, you know, like right. a hotel is different, you know what I'm saying? But it looks cool. It looks really cool. Yeah. <laughs> People who can tan don't do stuff like that. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, yeah. And that's probably could be part of it too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't I don't uh, I'm good. I, I'd be so uncomfortable. I mean like one, like I feel like the only benefit of like really doing that is if they cook like a really nice breakfast, you know, like like, like I like. Do you salt and pepper your eggs? Like, do you have hot sauce readily available? Like, like are we, <laughs> you, you making frozen pancakes or homemade pancakes? Like, like I, you I know, mean, I would hope if you're doing a bed and breakfast, there it's you know cooked from scratch. I would hope because bed and breakfast is not they're not it's, they're not cheap. No, thirty no. seventeen. All right, but back to the game. Thirty seventeen. TCU with the Davis wide open at the 50. Wide open over the middle. Is it enough for the first, though? It's not going to be. It's going to be fourth down. It'll be short. That's the only problem with this angle. I can't really tell, like, how far they got to go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be fourth and six. They're losing uh, – TCU's right tackle, Coker, is actually heading to the locker room. His right arm is actually not moving, so that could be shoulder issue. For TCU? Yeah. I didn't even see him go down. I didn't either. I did, they showed him on the sideline walking back with a trainer. But he's, he's uh, pointing to his right shoulder. Oh, he they went. He's going right to X-ray. That's crazy because they, they where the camera was, you could see inside the X-ray room. He went straight to the X-ray room, so you actually saw where he went to. 
Maybe they think he has a fractured uh, shoulder. Maybe so. Maybe so. I said maybe so. I was trying to find like another the other channel that gives me the normal views, but like there's on YouTube TV, there's six different channels that are showing the game right now. Six. Is it really? And they all have different stuff, and I don't. Yes, I'm like I don't. I don't know what to go. I don't know what to look at. So I'm just gonna keep it here. <laughs> I'm just gonna. It's also um, the game. They're also showing the game on TikTok. I think. Are they really? Wow. I got a notification. They say watch watch uh college the national championship on TikTok. Huh. Smart. Very smart, actually. But college marketing is always is always way ahead of professional sports. Second and eight, going play action fake to Stetson. Stet, Stetson Bennett passes to look like Bowers. Yes. Go get a first down at the 20-yard line for his third catch of the game. I'm going to try this one. I like the slow mo on that replay to see Stetson going through his progression. Bennett with time, pass over the middle to another Bennett. Uh, uh, Bowers wide open once again over the, the, the defensive back, Hodge. Great catch. He actually caught that with his knees as he fell to the ground. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, they got that's the, just the linebacker on the God, the linebacker practice. had to get all the way out there. That's not a good that's not that's a good what I'm saying. Move right it's there. not it's not supposed to be like that. It, they are running all kind of different looks. Georgia is, and it's confusing yeah. the heck out of TCU. They have no idea how to counter this. It's a great tackle there behind the line by uh Winters. Uh Winters number 13. That's the first time I think I ever seen the receiver have the play calling on his on his uh, wrist like that. You don't normally see that with receivers. Uh yeah. Uh, you might be right. You might be right. Interesting. That's the first time I've seen that. Stetson with time pass over the right hand side, almost with a one hand catch. We go. It's going to be out of bounds. The sideline and oh, the crowd are going back. <laughs> Let's see this. Good I think patience. this is uh, Ladanian Gets there a Tomlinson. little bit early, but I think they're... I think it's his nephew is number one, the, the the defender for TCU. Oh, okay, okay. They did say he had a relative that that was actually currently on the the roster of TCU. Four wide receivers, three receivers, uh, five wide receivers actually. Two, two far spread left, two to the right, and Bowers is running the slot. Pressure is there. Stetson's on the run. He's gonna keep it. Stetson picks up the oh. first down, goes down, goes down about the 32, 33, and points to the sidelines. Like, yeah, I got him. I got him, coach. <laughs> Don't you worry about it, sweetheart. Don't worry about <laughs> yeah. it. Don't you worry about it, sweetheart. That's that splash. <laughs> <That's a split>. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, that's that that when people look at Stetson Bennett, you don't think he's actually as fast as he is. Oh, very athletic. Two rushes right now for 33 yards, nine for eleven passing, 156 touchdown on both. Bennett, it's a Bennett show right TCU, now. TCU, the one of the linebackers is showing a blitz. He moved up to the line of scrimmage. Could be false pressure, but no, it's definitely false pressure. The handoff goes to Magatosh, who's still on his feet, but the whistles finally blow. Now get the ball, yeah, Williams. Just, that's when you that's when you just snatch it, spin around, and just run to the house. <laughs> like, oh, I didn't hear the whistle. I didn't hear the whistle. I didn't hear the whistle. <laughs> oh, I hear the oh the I can hear the yeah. band like just vaguely. Yeah. 
And I was like, what is that noise? I'm looking, it sounded like in the distance, like it wasn't in my headset. Like, yeah, they always have them, you know, because there's a mic, there's a, there's at least two mics in that area where the band is. They just turn them down so you can just barely hear it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Player in motion out to the left side, second and 10, ball snap, fakes the handoff, looking back to pass, has pressure, throws underneath. And the Gets catch is going to be made Edwards. to Edwards, going to be up near the first. Stop listening to us, uh, ma'am. <laughs> They're so late talking about sets a minute. <laughs> yeah, another hand stop off listening. To yeah. Edwards. Picks up the first down. Picks up about maybe about five. George is finally going into the run game, which is, I'm not necessarily surprised. Give the receivers a little bit of time. Also, you want to shake it up, make the defense play honest. And you want to keep them on the field a little bit longer. Tire them out. So bring up first and 10 at the 18. T formation. Powers in the backfield as well. It's going to be a lead blocker for McIntosh. McIntosh gets to the outside. Will we'll pick up the first down. Jumps over the entire photography section <laughs> as he goes out of bounds. <laughs> that was great. Actually. I hope somebody that got that if, got that photo as he's coming through the group. <laughs> had to have, right? Had to have. Someone had to have. <laughs> That's yeah. the money maker right there, bro. You got that shot. You right there. He got it. I know he did. He could, he was snapping at that. Uh, I mean, that's the one thing about being a photog. When you're in that area, it's it's on you to move. It's not the player. It's gonna be a run with a keeper. Did it run? Did it touchdown? I told you he, he like running that rock. He likes proving to the world that he's much better than just being a walk on. Another six yard TD by Stetson Bennett. Now, the, prob the problem with this now for TCU is that TCU really needed to force Georgia to make mistakes. Yeah. With this big lead that they have now, they're going to be able to just focus on the run and simple, easy football that limits the mistakes they true. can make. very true. TCU is going to have to score on every single drive from here on out because unless they start getting close, there's no reason for Georgia to try and force the ball anywhere anymore. I agree. I, I actually agree. But you know, I feel like well, that's everyone. Why I said, like a... Go ahead. Go ahead. I was no, saying. I, was I think say, that's, that's what I, I think... was saying when I first um, started the stream. You know, Will Will Stetson Bennett and the Georgia Bulldogs continue on this this story of you know back to back possible championships, or will the Cinderella team TCU Horn Frogs actually finish <sighs> off their story and end up being the princess? <laughs> so we'll that... see. what up, Derek? Uh, Pels leading, leading by 11, 11. seven one left. Did uh did Bi come back today? I saw Larry Nance was power probable. They're playing what the the Wizards, right? Well, um, about the, the Mexican but yeah, the thing is, is that I I think every yeah MSP is so good. It's making yeah. me hungry, and I just ate. Um, <laughs> you know the thing is, we all knew. Georgia was going to come out and play like they did last week. Yeah, it wasn't going to be a matter of them playing bad. I did not think that. I think their worst game was last week against Ohio State. Probably, probably. Uh, and right now they're they're showing it. They're showing it that this is the real us. We we gave we almost gave Ohio State uh, Ohio State a break. Mm -hmm. They didn't capitalize on it. We're not going to make up um, make that mistake again uh, tonight at the national championship. Derek says no bi. TCU is going to have a hard task to come back oh, yeah. from this. No bi. The defense is going to have to step up, step up big time. They're going to have to make proper adjustments on the defensive side. Um, I mean, it feels like the secondary kind of tightened up some, where they didn't give them options this this series to just throw to anybody. They weren't just wide open, so that's a that's a plus. But now, mm -hmm. like you said, at least for this whole second half, if they get the ball two three times, they need to score two three times. Oh, without a doubt, without a doubt.
<laughs> oh, 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 you didn't get this. You didn't get the sauce on the shirt and leave it there. Oh, <laughs> man, that's gonna leave a grease stain. Oh. Wait, is this? <laughs> What's that? Damn, I looked up and see the score. Yeah, yeah, for it's been a uh yeah, it's been a tough one. Uh Stetson, yeah, Stetson Bennett, Bennett, the first quarterback with multiple rush touchdowns since Vince Young, the former tight. Oh, I'm frozen again. Lit. Why and uh <laughs> Texas Longhorn, you're back, you're back, you're back. Oh, wait, I'm back. Okay. All right, the ball is going to be kicked off. They didn't pooch kick <laughs> last time. They're going to do the same thing here, kicking it short inside the five. He's going to run it out. Has a little bit of speed, but he, they're just running yeah, into like a hole. Yeah, bouncing outside. Like, like they did it last time. Why? Yeah, set something up. Because they're, kick, they're kicking them. It looks like they're, they're doing kicking that them now. to the edge every single time. So if I'm the special teams coordinator, I'm going to set up an edge return. We're going to block on the angle, and when we return, we're going to have two guys back there I'm going to have one, the more likely they'll kick to the right side. He's going to receive it. I'm going to have a guy to the left side two yards back, and I'm going to throw it to him. He's taking off to the house. I'm guaranteed it will score. Honestly, it's the it college championship. Score. Why do you not have something set up like that yeah. right there? Because that whole <laughs> left, side, kick it to the left side every time. That, yeah, that wide opposite open. end was wide open. I'm, yeah. I'm catching it. Whack. <laughs> Just this one quick pass. That whole, that whole line is going to have to shift, and it's going to make them play the kickoff honest. It'll make them play honest. They're gonna have to kick it deep, or try. They're gonna try to do it again. We're gonna do the same play again. Hey, bro, real fans. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. We did not endorse this commercial. <laughs> yeah, we did not. It said it, fa- it said real fans for a uh, present. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> Maybe we did take not. our name off of there. Yeah, we, I'm suing. <laughs> Yeah, it should it should be UNC for it. Should be you said not P for Titans OC. Man, I'll definitely do it. <laughs> First thing of action, Ted Hill, you fired. As soon as he's walking off, I'm not even Pack unpack, up. unpacking my box. <laughs> I'm going straight to his locker room. Like, I get a brown bag, please. <laughs> brown bag. I'll pack it. I'll pack his locker myself. <laughs> Not even gonna get like a real bag. It's gonna be like one of those uh, plastic bags that say "thank you" on it from like the uh, convenience stores. Bro, all right, here's your stuff. This is Versace. <laughs> well, it's Versace in a plastic bag. Get out. <laughs> but yeah, the quality of this clothes is the quality of your gameplay. And a plastic bag, trash. <laughs> trash. <laughs> And be like, Willis, you're starting until we decide you're not starting. We're just, and just let you know, we are drafting a quarterback. <laughs> we are drafting a quarterback. <laughs> I'm just telling you that now. <laughs> so uh, you got a season. You got a you got a half a season. If it, if game three you look like trash, you're gonna get the same treatment he got. <laughs> we're not playing games anymore with you guys. <laughs> yeah, we're, no. Too much money. Too much money. Mom P is like, I'm cheap, bro. He's like, Are we giving you these kind of dollars? Uh uh-uh. uh. No, you ain't playing like that. That's for damn sure not. Yeah. I'll yeah. strap up before I let you play like that again. Man, Tiny Hill, like I said, I respect him as being, you know, make it to the league is nothing but respect. But the way he plays, it's like, I don't, you just, it just, it's, it's not your time anymore. It's not your time. You had your flash in the pan career. It's time to, time to set it up. First All right, Duggan back there, five spread receivers. offense, three to right, two to the left. Duggan with time, he's gonna gonna run. Should have bounced out to the right hand side. Nothing but field. Tries to run it back up the middle. Picks up maybe one or two yards. Is it just me too? And but you look at the, the replay, those the balls are, are coming in very low, very low snaps right now. 
Yeah, I feel like the snaps are Duggan's low. The having snaps to look low. down to grab the ball every single time. Yeah, yeah. QB City Exchange is just uh, that. That's probably the best handoff right there. The best snap. Nice run. It's designed for a run for Dima Card. Gain Dima seven. Cardo. Third and two. But there is a flag on the play. It's probably going to come back. It's going to be holding us off, and so. That's going to come back. Yeah, I don't know. He kind of he kind of threw out that holding call kind of sus. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah. <laughs> like he didn't <laughs> grab his arm. He like he's like holding, holding like <laughs> All right, buddy. Uh Derek Hill said 9174 right, Pelicans 3 minutes left in the third quarter. 9174. Wow. That's a hell of a lead. Oh, we got that. Easy. It's crazy how we're still giving ourselves chances to win games. I know the Wizards aren't great, but, like, we don't have B.I., we don't have Zion right now. We're still yeah. in games. Uh, it's going to be pass. a fake handoff. Looking to throw. He's going to get just about what he lost. To Barber. It's almost like they lulling them to sleep because they only went to Johnson like once or twice, and they haven't really went back to him. They've, they've been you know focused on the run game, and they kind of got to get their the accessory players ready and part of a game plan. But it's like get your star in there. He's a star for a reason, dude. Is, he is a beast. I mean, at this point with the score being seven twenty four, I mean you don't want to make mistakes, but give him 50-50 balls. Trust your they, receiver that he's going to be the better man. Dug and pass. Overthrows Johnson oh. by two and a half, three yards, right into the defender's hands. Oh. That's on that's on uh, Dugan. That's on Duggins. That was a bad, bad, bad. He tried to try to evade the uh the defensive lineman who was on the ground, actually tumbling towards him, and just throws it up instead of giving himself an opportunity to Take a step to the left. The receiver was open. He was open. And I believe, I believe he was open, but he tried to throw it over the top instead of into that pocket. Oh, yeah. yeah just throw it in yeah, that pocket. He, when you see the replay from the back end, Johnston actually goes up about 20 yards, cuts into the left where there's a zone and there's no defenders. He had to readjust to go towards that ball that he threw. That's on Duggan. That's on Duggan. Uh, thought on what TC needs That's to do. That's on Duggan. Uh, Man, there's a lot of things that what TCU needs to do. Can, that right there is 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 number one. Like, and it makes you wonder how many times they've had players open like that as well that they're just missing. Bowers is going to go ahead and take the run. Uh, it's going to get the first down, and then defensively, they're just leaving gap, leaving gaps all over the place. The uh, coordinator did not yeah, come that, up with a good zone, game plan so against bad. Georgia. Like you know, I said use your star, and that's what they were planning to do. But Max didn't adjust properly on 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 the the defensive play call that came in, the scheme that came in on that play. And instead of throwing, he he would have been better off throwing the ball short. At least he gave the receiver, he would have gave Johnson a better opportunity to get the ball. He overthrows him by two and a half, three yards, and the defender sitting there waiting for the ball to come right to his hands. Yeah, the it, it literally was thrown to the defender. The defender didn't even move; he just yeah. stood still. Milton with a run off the right side. Player come flying in, missing the tackle. Oh. These are not the games you miss tackles, man. These are not those games. Oh, he's heated up. Oh yeah, the deep coach, coach. Is fired up right now. You know why is he wearing a red a red jacket? You know he's playing against Georgia. So second and one, it's going to be another handoff up the middle. They're going to go ahead and tackle him, and I think they're going to bring him down just behind yeah, the line of scrimmage. A good yard short. They're they really they're playing the yeah. run game well. It's the pass game that they, yes. they just can't. They don't they don't have figured out. What I said, the their their line is doing work. The defensive coordinator is definitely mm -hmm. telling the player the position and just be smart, make smart decisions. Oh, ball almost padded down, almost able to get that tackle behind the line, but it's going to up another first down for Georgia.
in Georgia. Just another another first down. This is number fourteen on the on the on the half to five for TCU. Well, and you, while snaps run, run up the middle. Well, another, and you also notice what what TCU is doing right now. They realize that their line isn't playing horrible. They're just rushing three. Yeah. They have just three guys rushing, and they're all dropping the rest back in coverage just to try and overload uh, the deep routes. That way, it make it a little bit harder to find the open receiver because they're not able to cover guys one-on-one. They're not working the zone the right way. But what Georgia does, they see that, and they're like, oh, well, we're just going to run the hell out the ball. First time I've seen a, expose a that can. three-man line. That's interesting. The referee, the center referee that lines up in the secondary has a camera on him. It's going to be a flag. More likely going to be a hold on Georgia. It's going to be a hold on offense. That's a big guy right there. <laughs> you can't throw the defender to the ground. Oh, that, 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 that's a hell of a holding. That is yeah. a, that is a crazy holding. Yeah, you, I like the you know, announcement. Like, I ground. think he was just mad or something. Like, cause, like, why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> That's a big guy, though. Oh, got to nice get around the right side. Locker sixty-nine, and we got it's another hurt TCU down. player, number twenty-six. He's limping around. I'm assuming they got him off the field. He never fell to the ground. Oh, they really, really tried to make that shot work. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> Second and 15, ball snap from Stetson with time pass. Oh, a lob over the right-hand side. It's caught. They're going to say he's out of bounds. McConkie was like, come on, man. I was in bounds. That right foot was close. It was close. It. it was really close. No. No. Oh. Just just on what the white. A- just on the border. That was a but a hell of a catch, though. Oh, a hell yeah. Hell of a catch. Good coverage by the defense. Nothing you can do. Balls is placed where it, where it needs to be placed. So right now, Georgia are two for two on third down. They're going to spread it out. But this is a long one. Trying to see man if he's going to blitz. It looks like they're going to send one. They're going to drop back, so there's going to be three-man coverage. Throwing across the middle Pass and wide open Bowers. Bowers. Still moving. <sighs> Finally gets tackled down about the 12 or 13-yard line. He just they're just playing they're just playing simple football right now. It's nothing nothing extravagant to the gameplay to the game calling. It's just simple football. That pass though, Stetson passing to that zone. There's three defenders that he, th- he throws in between to get to Bowers. And then it's beautiful because it's a timing pass. Yeah. You don't you if you're uh Bennett right there, you're not even able to see Bowers really cutting across. They had that middle linebacker that's sitting blocking that gap. So he has the time. At what point do I throw this ball in between the two? He wanted it the whole time. Oh, yeah. He's looking off it. He knew where he wanted to go from the get. Yes, I agree. It's going to be a timeout call by Georgia, which is smart because Bowers is breathing heavy. He needs he needs a little, a little breather. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> so I've missed regular cable. <laughs> that commercial that commercial is definitely how society is now though. Everything's assigned into a streaming service. Oh yeah. I was I'm waiting for that one streaming service to do things right. Got to connect this to chat. 
So yeah, I did that to me earlier and it came right back. The um, I, know, I was joking with my cousin the other day because he has like literally every streaming service. And I'm like, Colby, I say, you know, you're spending like, like probably like $150 a month, right? Like my boy got Amazon, Hulu, Netflix, HBO, Paramount, uh, Amazon. I'm like Peacock. I'm like, this is too much. <laughs> it's too much. You don't need these. You don't need this many shows. Especially when you can, Take you know, two. definitely find most of those other other places. I mean, and not realistically. I mean, if you want to deal with having to close things out, all all TVs now have the internet connected to them. Mm-hmm. Let's try to just go use the whatever website I want to go watch whatever I want to watch. <laughs> Operation Smile. Uh, it's still not connecting for you. It's connecting, but it's moving. It's moving slow, so I'm just refreshing stuff. So. No, I got you, got you. Can we get together? <sighs> Let me pull up Twitter. That's pretty cool. I didn't know they had like the little light show on the uh, stadium. Oh, yeah. All right. Quick huddle snaps to Bennett. Bennett hand off to Edwards. Edwards trying to hit the outside. He is going to be tackled after a game of about five or six. One hundred five eighty-eight Pelicans ten fifteen in the fourth. They got it. They got it. They got it. Oh yeah, I need him to get back in their rhythm, man. I hope we can get Bi back. Hopefully, sometime this week. I think I bet we won't. I bet we won't see Zion until after the uh, All Star break. If I had to guess, probably. Especially since we're still winning and we're you know and stuff like that. There's just no point to rush it. Run up the middle. It's gonna reach forward. Be just short of the end zone. Did he not get it? No, he did. He's his short. knee might have touched. His knee might have touched. Okay, okay. Yeah. He he reached forward, but he's gonna definitely be short. Derek, how the uh, how the boiled seafood uh, go the other day? Everybody liked it. It looked good. Oh God, that's kind of crazy. Uh, Stetson Bennett and Lamar Jackson are the same age. Are they really? Yeah. I know that Stetson Bennett was a little older, but I think he's <laughs> that. He, yeah, no, he's older. <laughs> my, my friend just posted gosh darn this camera bro oh there we go my friend just posted this picture on uh on facebook it says at my funeral take the bouquet off my coffin and throw it in the crowd to see who's next and one of, <laughs> one of my old my old coach comment on it goes note to self don't attend your funeral <laughs> hopefully nothing happens to you but, but like <laughs> <laughs> oh god so bad that's funny it's 
So it's, it's uh, you know, with the the craziness of the Raiders right now, you know, I follow a yes. lot of uh, Raiders fans on Twitter. And me and this one guy have been talking a lot back and forth and kind of saying the common sense answers to what's going on. And he right. posted like an hour or two ago and says, all the Raiders content creators talked about was Derek Carr. Now that he's gone, a lot of you guys are going to struggle to come up with different material to talk about since you won't be able to blame him on all your 22 film breakdowns. <laughs> and I was like, you're probably right. Because there's, there's some creators that do Raiders content and all this, they just tear down Derek Carr. That's all they really do. They talk about the, they talk about what happened in the game, but it's because it's all at the detriment of Derek Carr. It's like, now that he's gone, uh, what are you going to do now? <laughs> who, who y'all going to blame now? Right? Uh, Derek Yell said they loved it. Wifey took the leftovers and made a possible. Ooh, Ooh, yeah, that that's the best fire. way to do it. I love when we, I love when we boil, every time we boil crawfish and if we have some left over, my mom always makes, um, either makes like a crawfish and corn like bisque or she'll do like an etouffee mm-hmm. or something like with the leftovers sometimes uh oh yeah dude, it's just mm, perfect uh i'll keep lurk heading to bed uh for work tomorrow i got you 40 we'll have a good day at work tomorrow, work tomorrow, tomorrow man. i don't know how you're able to go to sleep this early well he gets God, up at like five even when i did that i couldn't bro <laughs> i still <laughs> fell asleep hella late I, can't, I just can't. Yeah. So brings up first and goal at the one. Bauer in motion back over to the right side. Should be a handoff, and it will be. And Georgia's... TCU hasn't had a chance to stop him yet. Nope. And doesn't look like they're going to stop him anytime soon. No, it does not. Kendall Milton. Everybody's getting a piece of the pie. Yeah. I mean, you just see Georgia's line is just, they're so much bigger, so much stronger. Mm-hmm. Every lineman got pancaked on that single run Pretty play. Much. That scoring drive was 11 plays, 66 yards, five minutes of time of possession on, Jeez, that, the- on that drive. So 31. They went on a 12 point run, Derek. Jesus. Who did all that scoring? <laughs> 31 7. 119 left in the second quarter before we had to uh to halftime. Oh, Najee and Alvarado, it looks like. Oh, you're up at 3 a.m. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, 3 a.m. is crazy. 3 a.m. I'd probably be going to sleep around this time too. Hmm. I said 3 a.m. I'd probably be falling asleep around this time, too. Oh. 5 a.m. 5 a.m. I normally was about, like, midnight. Yeah, usually when I can't sleep, I was, <laughs> I'll be, like, just surfing IG or Twitter, like, talking to somebody. And I'll get a random message from 40, like, 4 o'clock in the morning. Like, what are you doing up? <laughs> He's like, what are you doing up? <laughs> Come on, man. Seriously. <laughs> you got to ask a question. Yeah, gal, they need to adjust everything at the half. Yeah. And more. Yeah. Everything and more. Everything <laughs> yeah, and more. And more. You know, the the thing is, and I was going to say it on the drive before, you know, if they would have been able to get, even after the interception and get a stop and they allow that score to be 24 to 7, mm-hmm. it's college football and, and anything can happen. But now 31 to 7, uh, you know, they need everything but a miracle. Of course, Marshall's doing damage. <laughs> He's stupid, 40. So it brings up first and 10 from the 20. Duggan, player in motion out to the left side. Duggan from shotgun, ball snap. Looking to throw, has a lot of time. Starting to feel pressure now. Is finally going to throw the check down to number nine. Uh, Bear, Bar, Bar, how do they say his name? I thought it was Barry. <laughs> 
Barber. <laughs> he said like Barav. I was like, what? Duggan. That Georgia defense gets the pressure. It's going to be a sack. Let's see. On the on the replay. I mean, he has like some he he could make two quick passes to the flats. Probably only pick up like three yards, but he could have got the ball off. It was definitely somewhere to throw. So it's gonna be third and eighteen for TCU. <laughs> Bear Alexander. 6'3", 305 pounds. He's a freshman from Denton, Texas. Uh, yeah, I think that name. I think that name suits him. Yeah, it's a big boy right there. Yeah, we had a a player on our team. His name was Bear. He was a big white boy. <laughs> <laughs> he was a quarterback that they changed into a tight end. They end up being he and he actually got to the league. He played with uh, the Giants for a while and San Francisco. I think he has a ring with the Giants on their last Super Bowl. <laughs> Third eighteen actually called a timeout right there. Yeah, pass gonna be intercepted. The uh, he undercut the route. The the safety undercut the route and, and stole that ball right back. <laughs> oh boy, loses his there mind he he's there. hopping too. He must be in a boot. <laughs> when you look at look at this play, yeah, it's it's the safety read that all the way. Yeah, they're playing quarters. Only a quarter of that field has been man. Not everybody's playing man. Not every defender is playing man, and he should have recognized it. <laughs> I like how they have the <laughs> the the shoulder pad to say Savage on it when you get the interception on the fumble recoveries. Pressure is up. Been in with time. Pass over the middle. The gun. Nice defense. Knocked That's the down. second time that he's done that as well. Yeah. Nice pass by Stetson, though. Nice gun. Great reaction by the defense. Yeah, that's a great play. Yeah. Stetson from the shotgun. Perfect timing. McConkey in motion. Ball snap, pat, lob to the right hand side, one handed catch. This is gonna be a touch. Wait, they they both caught it, but you gonna give it to the offensive player when they both catch it? And and the defensive player is like, I actually have the ball. <laughs> like I literally have the ball. <laughs> Doesn't matter if he has a hand <laughs> on it. It yeah. don't matter. Everybody getting some pie right now, man. Feel bad for TCU. Feel bad for TCU fans. Yeah, that's a that's a touchdown. I mean, his arm is on the inside, but regardless, when it's 50-50, they always give it. Well, actually, yeah. Actually, the defender has that ball. It's actually in the defender's arms. They don't matter. If they're both their arms on. It's always. Well, I mean, offense. like when you look at the play, it's actually on the. Def- that's the one thing I never liked about that call, the 50-50 automatic going to offensive player. I think when the possession, majority of possession is the defensive, defensive side, that should be, that's an interception. It just, it just gives, it, there's no rule to like be able to specifically like write that up. You know what I mean? It's, it's all oh, no, up no, to I'm saying they, they have, They'd have to make it. They have to make the rule because the, in, yeah. in college, when it's a 50-50, the ball automatically goes to the offensive side of the ball. That's how it is in the NFL too. And I did. I I've never actually liked that call. I, I've never actually liked that rule. Yeah. I always felt that, like especially in a situation like that where the defensive player has it, like he caught the ball, and he's running with it, he has it in that position. I would call that interception. But I mean, I think you could. I think you could argue. 
he had it here, but the Georgia guy had both hands on it right yeah, but, there. He's wrapped majority, up with but, both, and but then majority, it comes out no, at the end. But the majority of possession is on the defense's body. So the body becomes a secondary hand, so it doesn't matter. That's a, that's a, that's irrelevant. Uh, I don't know. Have a Georgia player leaving another player. This is Bullard, who not moving his left shoulder. The other guy wasn't moving his right shoulder. <laughs> the way he's walking, his left, his right, his left arm yeah, is not yeah, swinging. His left arm is not swinging at all. So it's yeah, what? Definitely someone's arm. Here that's the again, third the shoulder kick. injury today. What, what's yeah? Another corner kick, and you guys are not playing the corner kick the right way. Like, I understand you. You know the the quickest point between A and B is a straight line, but when you have a speedy returner. Allow him to use his feet. Use his speed. Create that edge. Yeah, 21 seconds, you just you don't. <laughs> you avoid a possible turnover. Another player down for Georgia Edwards. And he's that's the running back. So of course Marshall. Oh, that's earlier. Hey, Zach, hold on one second. I need to blow my nostrils. I'll be right back. Yes. Yes, yes. Do you think? Do you think? Do you think? Sorry, my phone started getting blown up for a second. Oh. Guys, I don't know. I don't know what to think about this game, man. It's you know, I knew Georgia was the most dominant team. I think everybody in the nation knew that. But, you know, it's a national championship. You get the best out of everybody. I thought this game would at least be closer a little bit more competitive and right now it's just been uh very underwhelming it's like you know tcu they'll go and do a couple good things it was like all right they drove down were able to get a touchdown they worked the ball through the run game able to get some things going we're like all right they're gonna start looking good get georgia on defense they force a couple of third downs a couple of third and longs on top of it and allow them to convert third and 15, allow them to convert third and 10. And then it fumbles once again, where TCU lose all bit of momentum. And then uh, Duggan just collapsing, collapsing under pressure. He's thrown two horrible picks, balls that shouldn't be thrown. You know, we saw 40 say earlier, uh, Duggan over to the Tennessee Titans. But uh, honestly, he's playing just like how Tannehill did in the uh, in the playoff matchup. Right now, the only positive that's coming out for TCU is the run game, and then number 26 and 28 of the defense are playing well for, for what it's worth, for allowing 38 points. Them two are playing fairly well. So we had another run to the right side, number nine. He's going to stay up. He rolls over the body of the uh, Georgia defender. He's able to go ahead and gain an extra three yards. Good heads-up play by him to keep going. But that's going to go ahead and end the half, 38-7. to seven. Up by 31. So, uh, talking to coach right now. So basically all coach is saying here is, you know, they looked a little wide eyed a little startled to be in the big light like this. Thought they'd be able to settle in. They just have it. And he's hoping that they'll be able to settle in. He said they're still making mistakes that they don't usually do. Um, hope they can get some momentum going in the second half and try to get back into this game, at least make it interesting. But um, we'll see. George, George, is definitely, uh, George is definitely not sweating.
Let's go ahead and while Nan is blowing his nose, let's go ahead and check a look at the stats right now. Uh, Max Duggan, 8 for 12, just 97 yards, has two interceptions. Uh, the run game for TCU is being led by uh, Demarcado. He has six carries for 33 yards. Uh, Darius Davis, one for two. And then Amani Bailey has two for nine rushing. And then uh, Duggan, obviously, with the sacks, um, has negative 20 yards. Receiving Darius Davis has three catches for 73 yards. Jerry Wiley, one for 10. Tay Barber, one for eight. Quentin Johnston, one for three. Amani Bailey, one for two. And then Corey Wren, one for one. Um, and if that doesn't tell you the stats of this game, it's, it, you know, it, it opens it wide up. In college, you expect the ball to get beat thrown. You expect a lot of big yards. You expect that ball to be flying. And the fact that TCU has been able to give it to their big name players is what's causing the struggle so much. Duggan can't get settled in his pocket. He can't read the defense correctly like he normally does. Um, hopefully we see him settle it in a little bit and actually, you know, start putting up some points. I mean, for the sake of him, for the sake of the team, you know, a lot of people traveled out here to come watch this game. And I'm sure a lot of people are very disappointed right now, but come back in the second half. Don't give up on it. You know, whether you have a chance to win or lose, it doesn't matter. Go out there and lose with respect and go play hard and try to get some points on the board, change some things up. I like to see some creativeness from the coaching as well. Uh, you know, design some trick plays, do whatever you got to do, get some momentum going for your team. Don't make them leave this place feeling completely broken. Let them know that they came out in the second half and they played their best and that if they would have been able to play like this the whole game, they would have had a chance. If you're TCU, that's what you're thinking about. And then as well for Georgia, Stetson Bennett, 13 for 17, 213 yards, two touchdown passes. And on top of the two touchdown passes, he also has two rushing touchdowns. Um, he has three carries for 39 yards and with those two touchdowns. Uh, Kenny McIntosh leading the receiving five uh, – I'm sorry, leading the rushing five carries for 43 yards. Kendall Milton, eight for 25. And then Dajan Edwards, three for 19. We saw a lot of ne uh, near the end there. Uh, the receiving is being led by Brock Bowers, five receptions for 102 mm. yards. Uh, Lad McConkey, the guy who came in, they were giving Bowers all the attention. And my boy Bennett said, I don't need to throw it to my number one guy. He goes, I got another white boy on the other side. I'm going to throw it to McConkey, four for 74 yards and a touchdown. And then the other touchdown reception coming from Adonai Mitchell, who has the one reception for 22 yards that he was able to hold on uh, and get his hands inside the defender's hand. He was trying to pick it off to maintain the touchdown. I mean, unfortunately, TCU's game plan, they have not utilized – Quentin Johnson, like I say, he's number one, number one receiver option. Um, just in this year, he's 59 receptions for over a thousand yards, six touchdowns. His average is 18.1 yards on 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 catching on catching runs. Like utilize, you, he's six four, 215 pounds. Need to utilize the the big receiver. They're just not taking advantage of his size. Du, uh, Max is the uh, Max Dugan is not making the proper adjustments in the pocket when he letting the ball when he letting the ball loose. He's overthrowing or not throwing at all to the right person. So, unfortunately, he he, he has to calm down. He has to calm down. But uh, Georgia dominated the first half, thirty-eight to seventy. You can't can't do that, but give him props. Stetson Bennett did a did a great had a great first half. Uh, Georgia as a whole, the defense, the and they have freshmen on defense that are running all over the TCU uh, um, receivers as well as their front their front seven. That that ain't that's a bear, bro. I don't care if he's a freshman in in <laughs> high school. It's a bear, okay? <laughs> yeah, six three three. They said six three three hundred fifteen pounds. Like he definitely can um can't say that he's not a bear. So the fact that his name is Bear, <laughs> can't, it's, it's perfect. It's perfect. The parents parents it only knew makes when, sense. It when only he makes came sense. out the womb. We're going to call you Bear. <laughs> they knew from Joe. But, um, let me see. Like, I'm going to go take my little bathroom yeah. break here. And while you're going, I'm going to run uh, the right. no, kids, uh, no Kid Hungry PSA. 
So once again, No Kid Hungry is a, is a non-profit organization that we support here in the channel. Uh, I've supported it on my my first channel, but also we support it here. And it's just a, a non-profit that helps find logical answers and to solution of helping provide food for children in America. A lot of children in America go uh, without having meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. And, and they actually, like I said, do their best to try to find logical answers to raise funds and get food. For kids in America. All right, so we'll be right back after this PSA. During the course of a school year, there are many families that really rely on more families that are turning to us right now than even were before all of this. And so we've had to make more purchases to be able to stock our warehouse. And, and we are back once again. 38-7 Georgia Bulldogs against TCU Horned Frogs. Um, definitely not the outcome that many of us uh, assumed. You know, we did. Th we did. Most everybody felt that Georgia was going to have the lead. This didn't think it was going to be a blowout like this. Um, we'll see how TCU adjusts at the halftime. Most teams make some decent adjustments, especially when it comes to college sports. But we'll see how well they actually pan out in the long run towards the latter part of the game. I don't know. I don't know. And uh, I, I heard you, Janon. Yeah, I'll, I'll remind you afterwards. Yeah. Sorry, like, throw on, like, last minute snap me. I didn't know what the hell he was sending me. It's all good. <laughs> He he was going to get Chipotle, and I said we were just talking about Chipotle, and he's like, <laughs> and apparently, apparently they've been slacking at the one he goes to. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> Yeah, the one that's the one that's near me is so many people go in there they they don't have time to slack. <laughs> right, they don't have time. Five dollars that can't be right. Just confirmed that's the real price. <laughs> so he's singing the song, <laughs> the jingle. Yeah, I love that part, dude. It's, it's amazing. It's phenomenal. <laughs> that's funny. All right, all right. Ufos. Five dollar make you holler. Up, hey, you know, there you go. Sometimes you gotta just do what you gotta do. You know, <laughs> do something strange for a piece of change. I got you. I got you. <laughs> also, congratulations to Raiders running back Josh Jacobs, NFL rushing title. It's a good possibility. He oh, he did. He held it. Season. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's like a hundred yards more than the next person, or or seventy five hundred yards, seventy yards, seventy five yards. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I figure that he won't be there next season. Just the way I saw them not using him at the last game. Yeah, started running. Uh, I was like, all right, wow, McDaniel's. Yeah. This dude's like the Grim Reaper, bro, destroying franchises. Look what he did to the Broncos. Look what he's doing to the Raiders now. Yep. Who gave him the rings? The rings. It's good old the keys to the gate. Mark Davis, the guy who keeps saying he don't know football, but yet he owns a team. Hmm. Like I said, he shouldn't be trying to fulfill his father's dream. He should be trying to fulfill his own dreams. And obviously, running a football team is not one of them. Yeah. yeah. His dream is to be filthy rich, and uh, I'm pretty sure he's doing just fine. Like, I, he, he ain't going to – he would never get rid of it he because he don't care. just wants the money. <laughs> it's a tax write-off, bro. Oh, it definitely is that. Uh, so after this first half now what I mean do you think TCU I, I wouldn't say be able to come back and win do you do you honestly think they'll be able to make some adjustments here and, and just at least put on a show for their fans you know and like I mean, make it feel like if they would have played a certain way that the whole game you know that they could have done it you know or I will I will say what this you think? from what I've seen in college football I guess I know it's not going to happen, but I've seen a team come from this kind of deficit and actually win the game. So it's very possible. Um, oh, for sure. But the, uh, 
Max has to he has to settle down. He has to make the right proper adjustments. They're not utilizing their like I said their top receiver, um, Demi De Mercado, the top uh, running back for the squad. He's getting his touches, but he's still not, he's not getting enough enough yards that he should be getting. But that's not really it's just the line is not really holding up like it, it could. He's still getting five point five average, which is really good, but it's a lot of a lot of work he's doing on his own. Um, but Max, Max, he's made too many mistakes. He's made too many mistakes in this first half. Not that you can't come from behind with it. Well, just, he's he has to sell it on himself. He he has to make the right adjustments for, for what he's doing. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. There, there's so many different there's so many different pieces that are just like missing right now for the quarterback, the defensive schemes, the yeah, I mean, even simple things like special teams. That's like yes, in an everyday game, you you wouldn't do a little flea flicker in the in the uh, off a of kickoff. But like right now, you have to see it like. You've got to be a risk taker, especially when you're down this big. But these, and these I, I want to see yeah. something like that. I want to see something with like we want to win. You know, like these are the games. Like when when you're in my a- my biggest worry is that Georgia is not about to let up at all. I think the coach low key has a bet on the overs, and he's going to go put up sixty five himself. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the man called a timeout with a minute and a half left. Yeah, in the half. When TCU had the ball, like okay, come on, guy. I would say when it, when it comes to like the adjustments that they need to make, one clear adjustment, they need to get the ball to their star. Quentin Johnson has only received the ball one time. Yeah, one time. And they only targeted him. The only other time they targeted him was over the middle of the field where Max threw a just horrible ball. Yeah, you know? and then when you look at that, when you look at that ball on the replay. Because the replay shows it from the quarterback's perspective. Quentin Johnson mm-hmm. runs up 20 yards, slants in towards it, makes it a post route. If he throws the post route, that's a touchdown because there's no defender in front of him. The defender he yeah. throws to is over the right-hand side. That, and it, the, ball, the ball is floated right to him because Quentin Johnson yeah. has, has to make an adjustment to go to the ball instead of the ball coming right. to him. So right. that ball is put in the right position. The score is 38-14 right now. Or, or who knows? Yeah. It might not have been thirty-eight because the mo- momentum could have changed for the teams, and they could have the defense could have came out a little yeah. more amped up and not allowed that last touchdown. So, you I mean not saying it would have made a big difference, but it could have made a, a difference. I uh, no, I totally agree. I mean, momentum's yeah. huge in sports. You know, one that's why, like you know, the arguments that always pop up on Twitter and stuff where they're like, "Oh, yeah, it's one play. Yeah, it would, the score would have been thirty-eight to fourteen. It's like, no, that's not true. Things change mentally. Things change. Yeah. People get settled in once you start scoring. It's the same. It's the same experience that we noticed with like Jalen Hurts this year and his big leap uh, in his NFL career. It's like once you start winning, life gets easier. You play better. Oh, your yeah. confidence is up. You're not playing with with uh, you know a monkey on your back. You're playing freely, like how how you're how you're meant to. All these players are, are highly talented. Oh yeah, yeah. But they wouldn't be here if they wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. And if people that don't feel don't believe that these guys should be feeling the pressure, uh I'm pretty sure you still have trouble playing playing a video game in front of your girlfriend. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> this is <laughs> what what what's the what's the capacity over at uh SoFi? I think they say the the attendance possibly is seventy one thousand. So Yeah, seventy thousand yeah. is what the capacity is there. So yeah. So there's it's standing room it's a lot only. Of people. Seventy standing room only. <laughs> they're they 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 have more fans in there than the Rams and Chargers combined. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> so uh <laughs> Yeah. True. Rams versus Chargers at SoFi. The stadium's half full. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just I need to see Quinn Johnson get more active. Like uh, let the the kids yeah. stay there for a reason. Um, and the reason was to get to this game. You know, that's, that was the whole point. And Georgia, utilize the candy, and you're just not you're just not using them properly, or at all, really. The man is six. Who's four. in the Masters oh, this year? The defend. Uh, I'm not even sure, to be honest with you. I hadn't paid attention the last couple of years. Uh, yeah, not so much. I 
that's a heck of a stat. So I don't know if you heard the stat they talking about the, the team, like a national, the teams come from behind to win a deficit like this. And of course, the only team to ever do it was TCU. <laughs> so, so oh really? Uh, yeah, he was like, "So you're telling me there's a chance?" <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, you know, the way I look at it, when's the last time they won a championship? 1938. What? What's that? How many points does Georgia have? <laughs> 38. <laughs> Hey man, something, <laughs> something, something's written. Look, and like, you know, it's funny because I'm also wearing a t-shirt right now <laughs> that talks about the biggest the, comeback yeah. <laughs> upset win in the NFL. So uh, you know. What up, hoodie? Say sec- uh, oh, second by the way, hoodie back for TCU. Hoodie. One of my one of my friends makes this shirt. If you want one, holla at your boy. I'll get you one. <laughs> 28 to 3. <laughs> for Nola. <laughs> Uh, what's good, baby? So you're gonna you can put he said put your put your money where your mouth is. You can just give me one, and hopefully when I get my new setup, I have it just put it up on the wall, <laughs> just to there have a go. good uh, background <laughs> background imagery. But what's up, hoodie? Hope you're doing well, man. I saw you like the post of uh, Sean Payton meeting with uh, the Broncos. How do you feel about that, Zach? I I I just want the drama to be over. You say you want the drama like, to be over? Sign, go sit, yeah, go sign with somebody. I mean, like, don't be wrong. I think any Saints fan that that's like like still kind of butthurt mm-hmm. about the situation. There's some people that are like, I don't want him back with the Saints. He left oh, us yeah, like the, the take- he's coached us for a long, long oh, yeah, time. Yeah. Like. I'm not mad at him for wanting to change a scene or not wanting to go through a rebuild. I, I'm not mad at him for that. But what I am tired of is that I don't want this to be stretched out a whole nother time. Mm-hmm, he got his mm-hmm. year. Now it is time to go in and sign somewhere and hopefully we can get something from it. I mean, obviously I'd rather him go to the Cardinals. Cardinals had a worse had a worse record. Um uh, right. Well, their record's probably about the same, but I don't think the Broncos have their first round pick. I think they have yeah, a so first round pick from somebody the, else, which is like going to be like a twenty third pick. But I and think I don't also want Broncos will have the first round so, pick because they actually go to Seattle. Yeah, well, it could, theirs goes to Seattle, but they got another pick oh, okay. from somebody else, so we would get that one. I think I think is oh, okay, what I read. Okay. Uh, Hoodie will probably be able to tell tell you more. Sean Payne for the Cardinals for their number three pick, or Sean can stay in Nola and bring Tom, and we go all the way. Either way is fine. <laughs> if I'm Sean Payton, I do not go to the Cardinals. I don't want to deal with Kyler Murray. That's that's why I don't think yeah. he would. God, you stop freezing. It always freezes in the weirdest spots. So. I wonder. It's something with the wire. It's something with the wire because I just wiggle the wire and then it cuts back. I wonder if now, like with your camera, the, like the wire that, shaking. The, the wire that goes into go the camera itself, it, does that pull out and plug in, or just the wire that plugs to the to the computer? That plugs out and plugs in too. I wonder, if, but it's you, the side. It's the side. It, I probably could just. Oh, I probably could just get a different cord, huh? Maybe. What I kind bet of cord that's is what it is. Because when I wiggle the cord, it goes back in. Uh, it's a USB on one end. The other end's a. I don't want. To, well, I guess I can just pull it out. I think it's a, a USB C. It could be. It could be the cord. It could be the cord. I think it's a USB C. Order one from Amazon and see. See, check the cord. See if it, try a different cord first. You know, you can get a cord for like four or five bucks, maybe maybe six seven bucks. And well, because the thing the is, they return it. Yeah. Or well, I mean, the thing the thing is is like when it disconnects, I just go and like just wiggle the usb mm-hmm. port and then it, it clicks on so i don't know uh, could the usb port on the tower be is i mean that's a new tower so no no i've tried i've tried i've tried i've i've yeah no 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 i've tried different ones i've tried different ones. okay 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 uh hoodie yeah. says by the way congrats on demar hamlin recovery yeah man most definitely do this back in buffalo oh yeah some CSA hospital prayers so most likely yeah they sp- definitely do work yeah it was crazy man. thank you for saying that hoodie it was crazy i was I actually curious about it. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's still he's still at a dot at a hospital. I think he'll mm-hmm. probably be there for I, I would think at least another week. 
Um, mm-hmm. because I think I don't think they know exactly what caused it yet. There's just like that's ideas circling yeah. around. And I yeah. think that's and I think that's what they're trying to figure out if they can find an exact cause. So he'll probably be in the hospital for at least another week, I, I would yeah, say. Yeah, I was wondering if it was something that was pre existing that this never showed up until that hit. Right. You know. Which happens to some players. Some players don't know they have something and then they get into a major hit or I mean, something happens during a practice and all of a sudden they find out, oh well damn, I've been like this my whole life. I didn't know, you know. Uh, well, I mean, that's that's exactly the same thing with uh, with me, with my brain thing. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah exactly. I had that was was born with it, but I happened to get hit, and it, yeah, and then it activated. <laughs> which is which is, but it's so not crazy. superpowers. Like, why couldn't it be yeah. superpowers that Man. activated? You know what I mean? Like, Man, like why couldn't you be could Shazam? Be we could be, we could right be really uh, making some right. money off of this. <laughs> we could have started the Justice. Sure. We could have started the damn Justice League. I'd be the man of computer. Let's go. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh georgia is gonna go ahead and start with the ball here let's get a three and out for the love of god yeah. ccu get a three and out get a fumble a turnover i don't care what it is let's let's see the adjustments they make on the in the secondary the d the d line has been doing well because they've been rushing three and actually getting pressure so it's that, oh, yeah, it's that line playing really well it's oh, that yeah. linebacker core and the safety and dbs let's see how they adjust for this for this half of the of the game, but Stetson that was Bennett my is, favorite throw that he's made. Yeah, that throw Bennett was beautiful. Is definitely making a name for himself. And Stet, what Stetson Bennett is doing is he's every pass he's completing right now, he's seeing his stock in the draft just go better oh, yeah. and better. It's gonna be a handoff. Cuts back. Get about maybe a six yard run. That was a good little move right yeah. there. That little cutback was kind of nasty. Except, like I said, Stetson Bennett from being a walk on, nobody ever, nobody even looking his direction to to having a national championship under his belt on his way to his second back to back titles. You know, I also kind of want to point out too, with you know, our, our biggest thing that we always argue is how young quarterbacks get thrown into the NFL and get put into bad positions. Um, he's the same age as Lamar Jackson. Yeah. So when you think about it, at the age that Lamar got drafted, he wouldn't even been in conversation of even making it on a like SEC football team, yeah. let alone being drafted. Sometimes there's a maturing and, and like you said, oh, letting yeah. that game yeah. slow down, a better understanding that comes with age and experience. And that's what we're seeing out of out of Bennett. But this that's and that's proof also to what we've been saying. Be the a good time. vocal point. Yeah. Yeah, don't give up on young quarterbacks just yet. Give them a chance. Give them the right pieces. Let them develop. Let them learn. You want to spread right, off? It's- third down. Can they get their first three and out? And they can. That's what we needed. I I That's ahead what of you. But you're, you're we're like a few seconds. You're a few seconds. Okay, perfect. perfect. Thomason with the defense, just like that. Three and out. Yeah, I tried to get in touch with my mom. She should be home by now. Oh, okay. I'm trying to call her again real quick. I, I know she's like working by herself, so I don't want her yeah. got in trouble or something. Fourth and three. Australian punter. So if there's a flag that popped out of nowhere, the ball's gonna get a very friendly bounce down to about the twenty yard line. It <laughs> said so the, the punter. I guess both punters are uh, Australian. <laughs> I mean, I know, I know there was a barrage of flags in the beginning of the game. So it's a holding on the receiving team. Hmm. I don't know. 
If, uh, if she don't call me back in like the next like 15 to 20 minutes, I'm going to go take a ride to the building. Yeah. I mean, normally she de- she only has one building, but it normally only takes her about an hour and a half to do. But Yeah. It's been about an hour and 45 minutes. There'll be a handoff to the Mercado. Stop the line of scrimmage. Second and nine for TCU. Ball snap. Five-man push. Pass is going to be out to the right-hand side to Wiley. Goes out of bounds about the 14-yard line. That turf is cutting up their skin right now, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody, I think I see everyone I see is bleeding right now. Yeah. <laughs> Bunch of uh, strawberries all over the place. Third and five, three receivers spread to the left hand side. De-, De Mercado in the backfield. Ball snapped. Pass is going to be up to Johnson. It's going to be no good. There should be a flag, but no flag. Yeah, he was there early for sure. But no flag. That was definitely pass interference. You could hear the crowd. It was crowd bang, was bang. Uh, he was definitely a, he was definitely a yeah, second the, early. The crowd definitely let the refs hear it. Oh, yeah. He was there before the ball got there. Yeah. Because Johnson was already oh, yeah. turning. He was already starting to turn as the ball was coming his direction. And he's got – see, you know, we saw TCU's defenders do it a couple times. And they didn't use their yeah. left hand to get around. This one, he pulls the arm back. He's not around the waist. He's around that left arm, which restricts him from lifting exactly. up and making that catch. Because, I mean, and, <laughs> unless he got some great some great hands, and he could have caught that with his right hand from the backside, which which is not easy. <laughs> <laughs> no. But he needed a second hand. Yeah. <laughs> he also, he, need, he needs to act a little bit too, bro. Like, yeah, he's been throwing I, he his arm up like, hey, uh. What up, Diego? Who that hoodie? <laughs> Coach Prime. <laughs> I never see that girl. Don't tell me he's high stepping. He stole my move. <laughs> but you know what? I don't even think I'm going to check on it because I think she took my car. Oh, car. So are the Saints going to draft the QB? You know, with the uncertainty at the QB position for the Saints, I would I would assume it's a possibility. Um, even though they, they I mean, they have Dalton, they have Winston, Jameis Winston, but I, I think with the coaching staff there, their faith is not in the Winston, so I would assume it's a possibility they may they may actually draft the QB. Yeah, I wouldn't I mean, be surprised. He may, he... He basically doubled up on his on his comments about like A. Dalton because they asked him again at the end of the season uh, interview. Oh, yeah. You know, basically what um, you know, what was the you know factor of not playing Winston at all? You know, after that, mm-hmm. and he just says, you know, like based off of what I've seen, he said I just thought Dalton was the better route to go with, and he's like, you know, mm-hmm. whether it worked or not, that's still what I believed in, and uh, and and. They were like, well, what what made you determine that was things you saw in you know games or practice? 
because everyone's kind of like yeah. we didn't really see anything good out of out of game out of games. You know, we're assuming he said something in private. He's like, oh, you know, it's combination of everything, combination of everything. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, but that's just McDan- that's just that's just, that's just DA. That's, DA doesn't yeah. want he doesn't yeah. like a a firecracker wide receiver, you know, or quarterback that takes deep shots. He wants simplistic football. Um, but to do that and do that well, you have to have extreme accuracy, which we just we just not have this year. Yeah, yeah. My concern about drafting to someone new is that I don't want them to learn under DA, if I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> Ruin the poor poor kid's career. <laughs> Bennett scrambling, throwing right size can be caught by Bowers. Throws Bowers up his stiff arms. He have some space. Going, going. Nice big catch by uh by Bowers. Great pass by Stetson Bennett. They just playing a more competent style of football right now, and it's not even like crazy plays. It's just simple football. Simple it's football. Simple. Simple hand screen off. and have my uh, lead blockers. Mass defender. Milton picks up maybe about five. There was definitely a face mask. It was quick, but it was definitely a face mask. So I know uh, last year we didn't do it. Are we possibly going? Are we going to do the draft this year? Do you want to do the draft this year? I'm down. I know we didn't do it last year, but I'm like, we could possibly do it this year. Yeah, we plan, we plan properly. Don't matter to me. Oh, yeah. What I doubt. Second, maybe like five. a draft party. Maybe, maybe, uh, because what the first day, the first day oh. of the draft lasts, but four or five hours? I believe so. Maybe we could do it and then we could maybe try to schedule in, uh, Maybe have a guest come in every couple minutes from like a different team, see what their thoughts are. Might be able to get Rossi to come hop in, get hoodie. Uh, yeah, that could be cool. Yeah. Get uh, get the guys from Raiders. Oh, Pharaoh, yeah, guys in he there. definitely probably do it. Pharaoh, yeah. yeah, that could be cool. That actually could be, could be cool. Get Diego in here <laughs> so I can talk about his favorite team, the Bills, since he doesn't like the Broncos no more. <laughs> <laughs> Stetson with the lob it's gonna be caught to Bowers touchdown and they just keep it on the lob been it with the lob the pass has been so it's been so simple this, he's playing very logical and cognitive football not trying to force any passes he's giving the receivers the benefit of, of the doubt on the pass that one's slightly underthrown but he you know he has Bowers. Bowers is not going to let him down like that. Especially when the defender is not playing the ball, they're playing the receiver's eyes. 99% of the time they're going to lose in that play. Why why was why was uh, one of the Georgia fans wearing his uh US Postal Service hat <laughs> at the game? He just came from work. <laughs> he came work and went straight there. Like, Dude, straight up had the U.S. Postal hat on. Oh God, I hadn't seen one of those. I told in a while. you the bills are going all the way. You know what? I'm <laughs> hoping they do. I'm hoping that with how things are progressing for this postseason, let me see. We got a. Uh, they played Miami first. Could be interesting, but more than likely it's yeah. a W for the Bills. And if they win, and of course the Chiefs win, which they the second. That won't be till second weekend. Could be a, re- a remake, a revisit, Bills versus Chiefs to see who goes to the oh, This will be something we're going to see for a while, for you know several years. There's going to be a lot of Bills, yeah, yeah. Chiefs, Bengals over in the AFC for a while. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Nate says tight one. Yeah, yeah, it's a real close game today, uh, Nate. <laughs> I'm starting to think it's just because we're streaming it. Like, I feel like, are we the bad luck? The reason why they aren't good games when we cover them? Like, cause, like you know, we're going to try and cover as much of the playoffs as we can. Like we do, you know, for all sports. Like we try to cover as many as we can. Are they all going to be duds, the ones that we cover? Because <laughs> we're covering them? You could be, That's my fear at this you point. You could be right. Because there's, <laughs> what, uh, this weekend coming up, we have San Francisco, uh, Seattle. 
We have Chargers, Jacksonville, Buffalo, Miami, uh, Giants, Minnesota, Baltimore, and Cincy. And then Monday is Dallas at Tampa Bay. Some interesting is George, games. Is Georgia playing their backups yet? Probably oh, not. not gonna, <laughs> you not probably, gonna you, yeah, yeah, you're not going to see their backups now. Not until, like, <laughs> the fourth quarter, at least. That Jacksonville and Chargers game could be interesting on Saturday. I'm kind of excited for that one. I'm kind of excited for that one. I'm not going to lie. That's on Saturday? Damn. Yeah. What time Saturday? Uh, 7.15. Ooh. I might be able to make that, actually. Yeah. I know I can't do the morning stuff because I got a kid's birthday party to go to, but I I probably can do that one. Because I got to be back here by... Yeah, I got to be back here by 7 anyway for my mom, so I could actually do that. Has she responded to you? No, she hasn't yet. I don't even have a way to get out there. Oh, yeah, no, I have. I haven't haven't even... uh, I don't have a car to even get out there because she has the car. Oh. Uh, Said is just, Diego said I'm really I'm really gonna want the Cowboys to win there. <laughs> nice return for TCU. There's a flag on the return. Yeah, because you don't want to see Tampa Bay win. But do we really want to see Dallas win though? Do we really want to see Dallas win? Like, do we really? Like, I mean, do we really? <laughs> Can they tie? <laughs> they both of them go out. Tie for the playoffs. Extra, 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 extra bye week. They're both eliminated. <laughs> extra bye week for a team. Uh, you know what? I want Dallas to win so they can get blown out by whoever they play next. And I hope it's the Vikings. I hope the Vikings blow them the hell out the next week. That, since, be pretty, since you know, cool. since Dallas blew him out during the regular season, I want to see a revenge tour of that game. Yeah, Dude, runs to the left side, shoulder takes a hit, cracks Ooh. Johnson number ten on the defense with Georgia. But I mean, I guess yeah, you don't really want to see Brady, Brady win. But uh, you know, I guess we have to suffice with watching. Dallas win. <laughs> I mean, I was really hoping that they just wouldn't make the playoffs this year. That way, he'd actually retire. <laughs> Fake handoff. Duggins feels a whole bunch of pressure. Scramming out to his left side. He's going to run for it. Oh, my God. A TCU first down. This is, I think that's number oh, six. This is beautiful. Seven. Wow. You know, the last drive that they had a, a, you know, a first down, they scored off of. Let's see if they can repeat. That's been a, that's been a factor. They get one first down, they score a touchdown. That's number six. Dallas over me. Brady, though. Yeah, <laughs> true. It's number six. Look at that. First and ten. Receive uh, running back in motion from left to right. Passes up. It's going to be caught. Should be a first down. They may say he's a he's a bit uh, short. College rules. Yeah, no. College rules. He's down. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like that with college, by the way. Yeah, I don't don't either. Yeah, they touch the ground, they're automatically down. Uh, Yeah. To be honest, the game between TCU and I believe it was Michigan. Michigan would have won, like, super early on. They took away a touchdown that the dude caught it rolling back into the end zone, and then they TCU ended up stopping them uh, and pushed them three. Yeah, I was watching that. His butt was not in the end zone, so – Right. I hate it. Yeah. 
Pass throws left side caught by Davis. Once again, still not caught using and goes straight out of bounds. I just like I don't understand what's I'm about to put. I'm about to put on the other look again. Oh yeah. Uh, like, because I want to just follow him. Like, it's like you get to see their routes. Like, why is he not throwing to him? It'd be interesting if you can see what's uh the issue. Second and four. See, you see him stand there, bottom left. Duggan on the run. He's going to try to play with DeMarcado, goes nowhere. You know, and the one thing I'm wondering, uh, like, are they just giving him deep routes? Because I just see him going long. I've seen him go long quite a few times so far. The only times that we've seen him targeted was on long passes. Are they not working him into intermediate routes and stuff like that as well, just to get the ball in his hands? I mean, if I've seen all the routes, I can answer that question correctly. But the times I have seen them, they were kind of like deep routes. They're at least plus 20. Duggan slips on the on the snap, gets tackled by Bear Alexander. The 6'3", 315-pound freshman for Georgia. His, the defense is winning every opportunity they can. Yeah, and the thing is, Duggan, he was making the right read. Yeah. He slid. There was a hole. He was gone. Oh, yeah. Like, not gone, gone, but he was He definitely gets the first down. He got the first down. TCU back to punt. Fair caught around the 21 yard. I mean, a 15. I'm sorry, 16 yard line. Sorry. Stetson Bennett. Five total TDs tonight. Three, three pass, two, two rushing. This may be something where we just, even though it's not, it's a one sided game, it's still showing us how good Stetson really is. Because mm-hmm. he's making it look easy. Yes, he looks, he looks, has looked very calm the whole entire game. We saw from the very, very first play, he's he's yeah. smiling. You know, it doesn't even look like he's full blown sprinting out there. He's just reading the offense, taking yeah. his time when he throws his balls, waiting for the windows to open up. Uh, like dissecting a zone defense in the most efficient way possible. I mean, don't get me wrong; he said a couple of those that were just mm-hmm. wide open, you can't miss. But there's been a lot of routes that were timing routes that he had to wait for it to develop. He couldn't stare at it because if he stared at it, it would get it would get picked off or batted down, and then would turn and fire. It, it's things of an excellent quarterback play that we're, that we're getting from them right now. Yeah, I I, I agree hundred percent. What the heck did I just do? Uh, yeah, he's currently sitting at two hundred and sixty three yards, fifteen for twenty one, three touchdowns. And then, you know, also the two touchdowns uh, running the ball for 39 yards. Yes. Bro, you know it's one sport I've never even, like, wanted to ever try and do? Diving. Diving. <laughs> bro. Bro, one belly flop from that high, and I'm done. Retired. Well, that's that's why no. they don't belly flop from that high. <laughs> But you guys, yeah, they had to have done it at some point in their life. Like, you know, everybody messes up. Like, yeah, there's no shot. These dudes are doing well, like. I've watched, um, I've definitely watched it in Olympics. And I've, so one of my first jobs at Fresno State when I was just my freshman year, I needed, I needed to run, I needed to work. So I was part yeah. of work study and I actually was working in our facilities for the, where the swim team, the swim, the swimmers uh, can do diving at. And we, I seen somebody mess up and do that, and it, it definitely looked painful. <laughs> Their whole yeah, like, I'm, I'm good. The girl, like the girl from her breast all the way down to her belly button was just her. It was just red. <laughs> she, was a, it was, she was a white girl, so her skin complexion it was just all red. Uh-huh. I get. I think what she was doing, what she was be doing, she slipped. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or her, or she lost her footing. I guess you could say. Yeah, she definitely. She definitely. I can't get the water. Hey, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> like I'll jump off it. Like I'll definitely jump off it, bro. Like, like I'm not scared of that. I'll do like a normal dive. I'd probably even do a like a single flip and dive. You know, like <laughs> you know, I got balls, but they just ain't that big. You know what I'm saying? Like Diego said, dude, when their head hits the board, is so scary. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh when um 
oh, what's the guy's name? This Olympics long time ago. There was a diver who had his head and he was bleeding. They that's they found out that he was HIV positive. Oh Lord! They had to drain the tank. Had to, <clears throat> had to cancel that beat there. <laughs> well, it was the Olympics? They had to drain the tank and refill it. It's gonna be a run. run right side. Edwards, a lot of space. Gets the first down and some. Excuse me. So you see, I don't know what what angle you're watching. You see the the truck on the side. The camera that's moving to the right, left. I don't know if you've seen the guys walking yeah. behind it with the cords. That's I've done. Yeah. I, used, I did that for ESPN a couple times. Those guys that be on the truck. Oh, okay, so cool. okay. It's gonna be a low snap. Actually, All in right. around uh, to McConkey. McConkey gets the first down, still on his feet. Goes down, gets knocked down about the 40, 40 yard line. Now we got the uh, trick plays coming out to see what's going to work for next season. They said double up on the bleach. <laughs> uh, yeah, we you, came man, out. You that, did not just. You did not say they're was, basically playing. They're they're playing a spring game right now. Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, they're, they're bringing a spring yeah, game. Out the trick plays. That's. When they start doing this, they're yeah. just testing out plays for next season, basically. And they're daring, they're daring TCU to stop them. That's what it is. It's a now. It's like we can do whatever we want. Sets the Bennett steps back, long pass, wide open. Oh, caught but dropped. Smith had it. Come on, Smith. That's on you, Smith. It was in your hands. Smith, you just missed out on your seventh round draft pick opportunity, bro. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, he, he got fast. wheels too. Okay, I can tell he's a track star. You can always yeah. tell whenever a football player that actually played track competitively mm -hmm. with their stride. Their strides yeah. are so much longer than everybody else's. They said double up on bleach. <laughs> they say he has a world class speed. Stetson with the dime. Caught that? Wow. There's a flag on the play. Flag. A lot, uh, three defenders said that that ball was on the ground. But it looked like he caught it. I think I see the replay. It looked like he caught it to me. But it doesn't matter. The pass doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter with the PI. Oh, it does bounce out. Okay. Oh, yeah. He was there early. He was there way too early. Come on, Thomason. And he got his hand up. He's... Holding the right hand of oh, the yeah. receiver of Davis. I'm down to Davis of Mitchell. Oh, I see that ref with the yeah. uh, the camera. It's, it's a battery pack on the back of it. It's yeah. on his hat. Another handoff. Picks up about two or three. Yo, zero right there just barked <laughs> at him. You heard that? <laughs> <laughs> Second and seven, stack receivers on both the left and the right. It's going to be a handoff. It's going to be stopped at the, before the line of scrimmage. Hey, yank that dude to the ground. Like, nah, son. Oh, yeah. yeah <laughs> you, yeah, you're yeah, going yeah. here. <laughs> they see, they seen enough. All right. They're not, they're tired of letting them run around. Like, they, they're well, really not trying to play with them no more, man. Well, it's like we said, it's not the defensive line that's giving up most of the. The the the, mm -hmm. the the ass on the, the line's game been is, well. They've done really well. The line, the line has done well enough. And and imagine if they're rushing four and five. Yeah. They haven't been able to. They can only rush three right now because of how bad the secondary yeah. is doing. Um, they the line has done enough to make them be able to be competent in this game I or agree. at least compete 
it's the secondary and it's the offense that just can't get nothing going. There's no creativity on the offense. There's no way of getting the ball to your, your wide open. And then the secondary, you have guys like this that are wide open. The tight end who finally gets a chance to show his skills. He's been, he's been like the fourth or fifth old, uh, old lineman with most of the plays. But they have him stacked way out to the left. That's a big boy. Yeah, and he runs right, seam route right over the middle. And there's no defense there that's even paying attention to him. It's so crazy to think that this is the same defense that this entire season has been shutting teams down. It's like, this don't even look like the same defense. Not at all. It's going to be a Ball snap. handoff to the running back. Mac, uh, McIntosh doesn't, or McIntosh, however they pronounce it, barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. Stopped by number 28, Bradford. I don't know why. Like, I love, like, in college where they have the play callers on the side. They're all, like, doing signs. And yeah. I, I always think it's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> little handoff to McIntosh. McIntosh cuts back. It's going to lose a yard. <clears throat> Man, what Name is incredible right MVP now is... In all three career college... Damn, really? In all his games? His uh, college wow. f- football playoff games? Playoffs? Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna get it again this game. <laughs> I think. Oh yeah. I think yeah. that's fair to say. Yeah. yeah. I mean, to be honest, they should give it to uh, the uh, TCU's uh, defense coordinator. <laughs> He's the one that gave him this. Three game. receivers st- stacked to the right. Yeah, Frat. That's him with time. Pass is gonna be up. It's gonna be caught to McConkey. McConkey. Well, and, and you can just tell now, crowd. like you know, and. and <laughs> As they should be, but like TCU's just a feed. There was no effort trying to get to there. That ball was yeah. just floated. He, you know, as a defender, you turn up a gear, you try to get a hand on it. He's just like, oh, I'll let him have it. See, at, at this point of the game, just from my experience, at this point of the game, the guys, the ones who are playing the hardest are the ones, it's it's not everybody anymore. At, once they scored, not this, when they got to 38 yeah. points, only the like, the true captains of the game are the only ones that's really playing. Everybody else is just there. They're just there in spirit. They, they're yeah, just moving yeah, just along bodies. with the line. Just bodies. And I'm still... Do you know the I'm name? Still, I would say, do you know the name of the Georgia Bulldogs uh, is Uga? Oh, really? <laughs> UGA? I feel like I might University that, of Georgia? <laughs> Uga. Yeah. That's funny. I don't know why. I, I heard that earlier today, and I was like, that's actually great. All right, what were you going to say? Sorry. <laughs> I'm still still reiterating the same thing that I've said since before the halftime. You have a number one receiver that you have not got involved in this game. You have not got him involved. What's, yeah. what's, let's see. Maybe. He has to have only, like, what, three or four? Uh, three. Quit. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. He still only three still targets, three yards. three yards. But yet you're going to uh, Darius Davis, and it's like, yeah, he's doing well, but give it to the guy who's six four, two fifteen, not to the five five eight guy. Oh, I'm sorry, not three. Wait, why is it not? Oh, does it? Wait, it's not showing me how many targets he yeah, has. That's, just, that's his long in reception. Yeah, I'll just look at that too. It's only showing. Maybe they do a different for college. It's a college stat the way they do college stat. But I'll yeah, say so. from the times that we've I'm pretty seen, sure it is three, though. I think yeah. it's only three or four. I was going to say from the times we've seen, it might be only three or four, to be honest with you. Bum, 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 bum. Thank you. 
this one's about, but this isn't really the Cinderella ending. I didn't catch that. I think it was during halftime. Uh, mm -hmm. One of the guys was talking to Nick Saban saying, yeah, you know, Georgia is really taking over the college football scene. And Saban's face was just like, all right. So uh, <laughs> we're going to be dealing with very mad uh, Nick Saban next year. <laughs> I'm putting, I'm, I might be putting some money on it right now. Uh, as soon as it opened, I'm, uh, Alabama's winning. Like, <laughs> it, it, it's probably gonna That's have the funny. best odds that it's had in, in two decades for them to win it too. <laughs> like just probably because that quote after, was said. after those yep. comments. Yeah. 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 That's too funny. Oh, that short is still getting uh, some views right now. It's funny. Which one? But the uh, the Mike James one when he calls Mike Steph James. a one dimensional player. Oh yeah. 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 I was like, I see, I had seen that clip before, and I seen it pop up again. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna post it to the channel, and see what happens. I posted that clip at one one o'clock <laughs> in the morning, bro. At 1.15. One at, in the morning. I posted at one o'clock in the morning. At one o five, it had a thousand views. <laughs> oh my I was god! Like, Yo, people were like, "Wait, what? <laughs> one dimensional? I need to watch this." <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I clicked over, I refreshed, I was like, damn, what the hell? Yeah, I'll say been doing that since for a long time. Since 2005. So, as of right now, Georgia is three points shy of tying the record for most points in a championship game history. Three points? Yeah, wow. <laughs> I think they're gonna. I think they're gonna beat it. Yeah, yeah, that, they're they're definitely. It's only the third quarter. Yeah. yeah. And I mean the way that TCU is moving, um, they probably still get the ball in yeah. the third quarter. <laughs> Again. It's a good possibility that even though Georgia is going to play a slightly slower style of game, they're probably still going to score two more touchdowns at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. And they show the backup quarterback. Duggan, stepping back to pass. No one open. He's getting oh, wrapped up, scrambling, loose. moving, still free. Looking to throw. The cross court. Finally chucks it cross ah, field. He tried. He tried. And once again, to Davis. And I'm like, where is, oh, where is Quentin, man? Is he injured Let's and they're just not him. talking about right it? Like, is he? And he's open. Hit. He's nah, open. he's in trouble cover. That's gonna get collapsed <laughs> on. But like But well, they're when, only when sending the him on go him. routes. Yeah. Give him the ball. He can catch. Give him the ball. Give him a quick if slant. He's not getting he open on deep ones because they're running high safeties. Yes, please. Give him a quick That's slant. That's what's killing me the most right now. And then he's not even in. Now he's not in. Not at all. Pass to Davis. Gets the first down. Falls down about the 45-yard oh, line. Davis. Nice move. You tripped yourself, bro. It was yeah. a nice move, though. I'll give it to you. Oh, yeah. He got so excited on the run. <laughs> His physical body and inertia said, oh. Nice move. Uh. <laughs> hmm? Did you, did you say point, you, you I mean... did talk to your mom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Apparently, apparently, the building was just like extra dirty because they're moving stuff around or something. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's gonna be a run up the middle, pick up maybe like one or two. Georgia rushes four. Ball snap. Fakes a handoff. D throw it to him. Uh, 
I'll give it to Doug. Doug is still trying to do anything to hype himself yeah. up and hype everybody up. Yeah. You know, you respect that from a leader, and uh, I am happy to see that. We're going to – You know, he's still getting tapped. He's yelling, out. screaming. Yeah. The, the problem, like, like I said, this from being on the tail end of games like this, Certain players, when it gets to a certain score, they just stop playing. And there's some that just continue yeah. to play no matter what. Like, they just have too much respect for themselves and the, and, and the, the, the jerseys they wear. But some 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 players, man, they just they just stop. I'm going to mute the sound because I know there's supposed to be a trailer coming that I don't want to see right now. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I'm, this is the first time they introduced it before it came on. So I was like, oh, thank you. Mute and close screen. <laughs> Just let me know. I'll let you know how it looks. Just let me know what, <laughs> let me know what the trailers are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but once again, thank you to those who are here, who have uh, came by the channel. Even if you're the lurker, just using us as your sports radio. We appreciate you. And if you're not able to watch, you can just hear us. Current score is 52 to 7, into the third quarter, going into the fourth. Um, Georgia is have a commanding lead, looking to break the record of the highest score in a. Uh, championship game. The trailer still going? It's a long trailer. <laughs> so you're telling me I have to do a reaction after the channel. Okay, that's what you're telling me. Got you. Yeah. Got you. <laughs> Got you. Oh my god. It's still going, bro. Oh, they're doing a full full trailer then. This a full trailer. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have to yeah, yeah, yeah. You might wanna just yeah, yeah, you might want to react to that uh right after the game. <laughs> like, you might want to react to that. Wow. Okay. All right, you know what? You know. Ant Man Axe said he was tired of just being a role filler. Um, yeah, he they gave him what he wanted. That's for sure. Oh, this yeah, this movie this is, is uh, this be, is big. This is big time. Yeah, this movie is setting up the this this next because pretty much this is the first movie of uh, Phase Five. This is the first movie, so it's setting up. Yeah, this is technically setting up probably the next two or three phases because Kang is yeah. Kang is going to be part of at least the next two phases, I believe. Yeah, no, that was yeah. yeah. There was a lot. There was a lot in that. Oh, let me see some. Let me go to my my YouTube real quick. Let's see. I know somebody <laughs> did a live reaction while it just it premiered. I guarantee you somebody did. Oh, so oh, someone did it live. Right, like, no, I, I guarantee you somebody. Did. It's always at least one. Yeah, everything oh, always sure. right now. He's live right now with four thousand people watching. <laughs> Ant Man, Quantum Mania, second trailer watch party. Yep, they already did. <laughs> that dude be on. T be on top of it. He be on top. De Mercado. Third, third and nine, and that's your play. Yeah, just throw in the towel. I mean, this is basically what you're doing, but just throw in the towel, man. Yeah. Fourth and eleven. Yep. And saying the exact exactly what we're uh, saying too. One catch for three yards for Johnson. Almost intercepted. I don't even see Johnson out there in, in this in this play. No, he's not out there anymore. I don't think he's playing anymore. I haven't seen him in the last three plays. Yeah, their offensive game plan, the way they utilized him in this game, was just horrible. I mean, to a player that most 
most college football analysts are comparing to C.D. Lamb, and that's how you you utilize him only on the on the deep ball only. That doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, you let yeah you let them yes. take him away. You know, when you have a guy that's talented like him, it doesn't matter what looks they give him. You let him be the better player and go win. I agree. You know I what agree. I mean? And they just never even tried he to. He never had they a never chance. even tried to. That's, that's my chance. problem. Like I said, the offensive scheme was just not – it It was the scheme that we got last week. Like, you, whatever they play this week, they prepared for something that – Oh, man. Those games on New Year's Eve were some of the best college football games yeah. back to back. Probably the most entertaining playoff that we've seen so far since they, uh, you know, started the college football playoffs. Mm-hmm. And I think you got everybody really hyped for a, a, a big one. And the fact that we just got nothing like it, you know, absolutely nothing. <laughs> cause I, I already knew what to expect from Georgia and cause they've been here before. This is the second time, but this, as far as TCU and, know. uh, they're gonna, and this is going to be the walk-off for Stetson Bennett. Giving him the curtain call. I'm assuming that's standing it. ovation. His mom, I'm assuming. I believe. My dude hasn't gotten a smile off his face since, the, since his first touchdown yeah, run. Yeah. That dude's been all cheese this whole time, man. Good for him. I mean, because like I said, like like the announcer was saying, nobody expected anything from him. There was no offer. He got not a single offer from no schools. And then that just proves to, that that's one thing where people should understand. Just because somebody's drafted high or picked high or, or selected high and it's considered a five-star, doesn't mean they really are that person. It doesn't mean that at all. It, it's, it's the player. The player can, it makes that, you know? It, it it's like you know we've said we said this a while back and, and we had a couple people kind of give us a little flack about it but once you when you play in high school and then you have opportunity to play in college it doesn't matter what star you are what rank who's giving you attention the moment that you're able to step on that field your career as a football player resets yes. no one cares about what you did in the past anymore is what you can do now and into the future we've seen guys like you know Josh Allen Josh Allen is a guy that was not even recruited. Bounced around small yeah. schools until he finally got to got to one, um, and now is one of the t- best quarterbacks in the league. He's top five quarterback in the league now. It's a reset. You're right. You're right. You just gotta. You just gotta get there. You just gotta get there. Hard work beats talent. That's exactly it, Diego. That's exactly it. Hard work, dedication to your Facts. craft, a good support team around you, whether it's family, whether it's coaches, whether it's teammates, whatever it is. Those are the things that matter. Also interesting too. I, I don't know if you know, but uh, Andy Dalton is uh he played for TCU. So he was a he was a horn frog. How you doing, Diego? Thank you for still being here, brother. We appreciate you, man. Did you finalize the zebra artwork? I know because I'm lazy and I got talent. <laughs> so silly. <laughs> so the stadium, the way the stadium is built, it has openings, and so <laughs> the announcer's like, you know, adding insult to injury. Only the side where TCU is getting rain, or TCU, TCU fans, that side of the stadium is getting rain, not the other side where Georgia fans are. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> you said you said you said they're getting there's rain. So in? the so the way the stadium is built has a couple of openings, but only the side where TCU is at. Is the rain the TCU fans the only side getting rain? <laughs> Not the Georgia side. So the announcer's like adding insult to injury. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that's messed up, bro. I'm going home. 
Peace, love. I don't look. I don't leave games early either. <laughs> I'm going home. That's a sign from God at that point, man. Yeah, go ahead and beat traffic. Go ahead and beat traffic back to the hotel. Third and five. Beck, nice little pass to the flat to Jackson. Uh, Diego said, honest, uh, I don't know if you're right as other one says, uh, I know because I'm lazy and got talent. Honestly, I'm good. I told my boss to either pay me or I'm leaving when my contract ends, and it felt good. Hey, you know, sometimes you got to stick up. You love when you have that much power as an employee, bro. Yeah. I, I, I was able to do that. I did that one time. Uh, and it's so funny how quickly they shift because they'll try and do it without you for a second. Like, I remember I said that complaint to uh, mm-hmm. to my boss. I was like, you know, give me more hours or I'm gone. And all of a sudden he's like, oh, I can't feel my Sunday. I can't feel this. I can't do that. <laughs> Pay me. It's going to be around the middle. Uh, see, Nate dropped a link. What's this? No, let's see. <laughs> true. True, Nate. True. Damn, Zebra was done. I was doing it on my phone. I'm not adding no more to it. I'm not adding more to it. Oh. Oh, that's, I was I was asking. I know, oh, yeah, Fred, you did. You. I don't remember what we talked about. What it, I, don't, I don't remember what was the last part of it. If you had finished or not, that's why I was asking. Oh, the zebra thing. Yeah, it's in. Uh, it's in the group chat, I think. Right? Or did he email it to us? I think it's in the group chat. It was well, and it well it was it's in the group chat. chat. Yeah, it's in the group chat. Third and five. Back throw the floater to the left side. Incomplete. <laughs> you love that. What yeah. a great story. So, hey, so yo, he, hey he, shout out to the reporter that that found out about this. Shout yeah. out to the reporter for this. So Stetson Bennett called his championship victory out at three years old. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Manifest destiny. Beck with the pass uh, on the quick Georgia, slide on the right hand side. Georgia. Georgia's trying to beat the record right now, bro. How are y'all gonna go oh, for yeah. it on fourth I mean, and five? Yeah. <laughs> y'all, disres- y'all disrespectful, Jory. Y'all really well, trying to get everybody to hate in. y'all like Alabama. That's what's happening, right? They're really trying to get everyone to hate they you. Got like the Alabama. backup in. They're not going when they got the backup in. They're not, they're not going to just run some run plays. They're going to try to score. Uh, y'all know how hard it was know. to find the back legs of a zebra with a front view without <laughs> seeing a penis or a furry penis. <laughs> Gonna be a run. Still on his feet. He's down. Touchdown. He's down. No, he's down. He's, he's down. gonna be down more than likely. Yeah. yeah they're gonna give him just at the half mark. That was a nice run, though. They're gonna a no, no huddle, quick snap. Now oh, he's in. Now it's touchdown. No sign yet. I was about to say, why haven't they signaled? This yeah, is a touchdown. He's clearly yeah. in. Lord. Now they gave it to him. He was clearly in. So another another and freshman score. Just like that. College record. And Ramos. This run's insane. Ramos' name is in the record books. <laughs> Damn, bro. How crazy is that? It? Freshman gets put in at trash time. <laughs> And now his gloves or jersey or cleat something is going to go into the uh, it's going to go into it's the college gonna be all, It's going to probably be all of it. Yeah, probably will be all of it. Yeah, 
I don't know. He might not want all. He might want to keep something for himself, man. <laughs> like, like I think I'd be like, yeah, no, bro. This might be my biggest memory. These are mine. You can have the gloves. <laughs> like, like this jersey. Yeah, this one's mine. I'm, I'm hanging this one up. <laughs> well, we know that's going right above the, going right above the mantle, right above the mantle. That's where it's going. <laughs> So speaking of uh, giving away jerseys and stuff, um, does Aaron Rodgers retire? Uh, you know, I don't know if you saw, he denied James Williams the jersey. He said, no, I think that, I'm going to keep this I one. I, You know what? That's what, when before you even said that, I was thinking that because of that, I saw that video. I saw that video mm-hmm. and I was like, I wonder if he's going to, if he's contemplating retirement because of that. And the way he walked off with, the, uh, with, Da, Cobb, with the way Cobb. him and Cobb walked off yep. the field, I felt like it's a po- it's a very high possibility, very high. And uh, it was even even what was said at that point. He he said uh, some like uh, "Remember the good times" is uh, is what he said to <laughs> yeah. Cobb while they were walking out as well. Mm. You know, it just feels very like you know the last yeah. last step out. You know? And I think too the fact that he didn't have. Uh, Devontae Adams and you know the, the talk with with Brady and with Rodgers and back in the day with Roethlisberger and, and all these like high level QBs is that the QBs are the ones who made the receivers and in the past you know for Rodgers that could have been a fact but after not having Devontae and not being able to pursue the the type of offense that he wanted to pursue in during the season maybe, he, maybe his thoughts is well maybe I don't have it anymore you know what I'm saying because I, I couldn't do it with some well, of these young, you know, young bucks it, who have the talent to do it. Well, it's it's the thing, uh, the same thing with some coaches. You know, like coaches, you know, you can coach for a long time. Yeah. If yeah, you're good, yeah. right? You know, you can coach for a long time. But as a player, you know, it's not just mentally uh, hard playing in this league, physically hard very demanding on your body and everything, mm-hmm. you know, even at the quarterback position, which, you know, you know, they, they get a little bit more leeway compared to like, you know, if you're running back, a linebacker, a lineman, whatever. Um, but just like how coaches are just, you know, don't want to have to go through a rebuild, you know, don't want to have to deal with that. You know, he might just not want to have to wait no more for players to develop into what they can be. Because yeah. I, I think there's a lot of wide receivers on that team that have talent. I think Dobbs still has talent. I think Watson yeah. Yeah. has talent. We saw it a lot at the end part of the game. Um, you still have a young running back in Dylan. Uh, you know, you have issues a little bit with Aaron Jones, but like you still have a, a talented team. But do you want to wait two or three more years to be Super Bowl ready? And at that point, Aaron Rodgers will be, you know, how old? Do you want to be playing for that much longer to wait to get another chance? You know, that's that's when the, that's the questions that you start asking yourself. He's also <laughs> apparently dating the owner of the uh, the Bucks. I, yeah, I saw that. I saw that as well. I right saw now, that, yeah. Okay, so it's just you know, just for he, some. He might just he, just for some. There's levity, a lot. There's a lot going in right now, bro. Just for some levity to this game, so. I'm looking at Twitter, looking at some posts that were posted earlier, and this post was posted 11 hours ago. So, <laughs> it's from Dogs Forever, and it says, a TCU fan in line before me just ordered avocado toast with salmon for breakfast, Dogs by 50. <laughs> so, he called it. He called He called it. Dogs are by 51 right now. <laughs> he, he called 52. it. <laughs> yeah, 52. I'm sorry, I gotta add that. But, I'm going to screenshot this and put it in the post on our, <laughs> on our Instagram. This guy so, hey, is, is also, he's, uh, he's a real I really one. like what George is doing right now. They brought out their starting unit. He calls timeout to get a, uh, to get curtain yeah. calls. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's great work oh, by yeah. coach. That's right how there. you're supposed to do it. It's great work. Take, take time out. Cause, some, cause some of these vets, the, uh, they're not going back. Deserve. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're done. Possibly yeah. some of, we have like, I think there's four or five, five stars on the offensive line alone. So there will be going to, you know, mm-hmm. to the draft more than likely. Oh, they're going to, they're going to have, they're going to have five or six people go in the first round yeah. this year. Easily this team. Easily. This team's uber talented, man. Oh yeah. Diego, I just realized you said that the, uh, he gets to keep the jock strap. <laughs> yeah. I was talking about something. <laughs> Could you imagine the jock strap? 
on top of the mantle. <laughs> tell tell your uh your grandkids, yeah, you see that jock straps? Boy, yeah, me. Run that touchdown in, baby. <laughs> Go dogs. Arr! That's funny. That's so funny. <laughs> you know, this commercial makes me really mad because I don't know why. I don't hate Taylor Swift by any means. I like some of her songs, but like something about her face just bothers me. And I don't know why. And now that I'm seeing like 50 of them, I'm like, I'm like this is like annoying me. <laughs> I don't know why. It's always, it's always been like that. And I like her music too. Like some of it. Some of it I actually like. <laughs> but she just looks annoying. That's too funny. She just looks annoying to me. The first time I ever heard of Taylor Swift was that that uh, the T Swizzle oh, uh, yeah. thing with T Pain. Yeah. That's the first time I ever heard her, her music was on there. <laughs> I was like, "Who's this?" <laughs> uh, Nate says, "State of origin over Kitty football." You know it's true. This was exciting as a Chinese six month. All right, Nate. I'm, I'm, first off, I know you're not going to come in here talking about uh, talking about that. Compared to the game that we watched for this year's, well, not state of origin, but for y'all's uh, NRL championship, because that game was doo doo just like that. That game was. was done in the first half. I mean, at least, <laughs> yeah. I mean, at least, at least the other team came and put some points up at the end. But this is just a bad game. If you would, if we would have been able to cover the games uh, the weekend of New Year's Eve, that was some of the most exciting football I've seen in a while. Oh yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, you are into the commercials now. That says it all. Nate, I mean, I think uh, first off, Nate, that's just how we are in general. <laughs> but this this thing has been on the on the grill too long, right? This this steak is overcooked. You know, it, it's not even well done anymore. It looks like an elephant's ear, bro. It's just gray on the inside. Oh, I see what you're talking about the uh, <laughs> the save Nick Saban's face when uh, Pollock says it. Oh yeah, yeah. On college football, <laughs> he was like, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. That's funny. I'm talking origin. NRL finals can be meh. Okay. Okay, but yeah, okay, but uh, Nate, origin is the best of the best. Like this is just like the two best that's teams a, that's, this year in college. You can't even compare it to. That's like you it's know, very different. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very different. That's very an all star game. <laughs> that's an all star. You said the best of the best. Oh, all star game. A competitive all star game. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, very competitive. But I mean, it's, I'm just saying all star because it's the best of the best. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Back to raw. It's getting better closer to the end. All right, enjoy your raw, bro. I mean, you can just go on WWE Monday and Night see Raw. who wins the match. <laughs> it's all scripted. Are you, are you going to watch Family Guy afterwards? That was my favorite. Does Family Guy still come on after Monday Night Raw? I have no that was idea. my favorite part because I'd always put it on, and then my parents would fall asleep so I could watch, and then I could watch Family Guy because they didn't let me watch Family Guy. <laughs> Third and twenty-one, Duggan scrambling, He's throwing finally. Hilarious. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I thought that that was finally our guy, but it wasn't. Nope. Uh, Nate is a drifter now. Nate's a, Nate's Nate's one hundred percent a drifter, bro. <laughs> drifter, thrifter. Nate hates college football, though. He said that from the very beginning because someone asked us on here if we covered college, and we were like, "Well, not really, because it's on Saturdays, and we normally don't stream on Saturdays." But mm-hmm. yeah, he hates it. I love Kasha Wall. Kasha Wall is fun to watch. I just like, unfortunately, oh, yeah. several games. It's going to be a sack. This game has been time. bad. Yeah, but. But I mean. This game is only fun if you're a Georgia fan, you know. Oh, yeah. But I mean, I understand, you know, from Nate's point of view, the games he's seen have not been good. But, I mean, you haven't watched as much college football as I watch. So, <laughs> I've definitely watched That's more true. college football than you. I will say going to a college football, like join the whole experience. I mean, obviously, oh, you know, yeah. I don't, I don't it's know about way, it. It's way yeah, better like, than professional sports. Yeah. It's a, it's a whole event. Like the game, the game, yeah. 
the game will be at seven o'clock, but tailgate starts at 8 a.m. Like, and you can yeah, but- bounce around different people's tailgates, grab food, play football, play pickup, baseball, casual, drink, play beer pong, whatever you want. The Depending bands are school, playing the like whole day. School, we Jesus had, Christ. yeah, we had a full, uh, but oh my God, it's going to be a run. It's going to be another touchdown. <laughs> They're just piling on now because they know. Like the guys who are coming in backups know that this what? this this starting this starting defense has pretty much given up, so they're just running it in. They're why why in. why does the quarterback's face at that one point where they they showed him and his like his like mouth was open like this? He looked like the <laughs> the kid from uh the Sandlot with the glasses. Uh uh, God, I get his dang name. Whenever he got the the lifeguard to give him a kiss. Oh. And he walked over <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> like th- it looked just like him, bro. St- uh, Specs, stints. It's like someone to ask. I can't remember the name, but that's that's classic. That's a classic movie. It's one of my fa- one of my favorite right. movies as a kid. Cause I was a baseball kid. Uh, Squints. That's what it is. Squints. He looked just like Squints, oh, he bro. Missed, he Wait, missed hold on. He, he missed PAT. Yeah. Like he looked. He looked. I'm going to share it with you. You don't have to share it on stream, but he looked just like this. <laughs> he looked just like that, bro. <laughs> T- telling you. That's so funny, bro. Yeah, I, 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 I always back loved uh, Sandlot, man. Oh, yeah. I, I, I'm a Sandlot kid, you know what I'm saying? So that was, that was like my movie. That, I felt like that was representing me. I'm I'm trying to see if I can find it. All right, hold on. Wait. Uh. All right. All right. Look now. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> It's yeah, a little, like, the guy it does like look a, like it, a little bit. Yeah, when it happened quick, I was like, "Dude, it looks like squints." Um. Yeah. So I guess there's okay. So, so who is this? This is Ari Moreau. He covers NFL, and I guess he did a he did an article. Um. From a, and also got some information from he posted this article from an ESPN writer that says in a Demon article, you know, what's the guy's name? Uh, Don Van Nat, Natta Jr. did a deep dive to find out what happened behind the scenes after DeMar Hamlin collapsed. NFL wanted the game to continue. The league mm-hmm. didn't cancel the game. A team official said the Bills and Bengals canceled the game themselves. Oh, wow. Bad look for the league. Yeah. And there's a full article. You know, I'll, th- send, I'll send it over to you. You know, uh, it, to play like devil's advocate on this, which I'm I'm definitely not on their side at all. Yeah. Uh, what the heck? Oh my god, dude! Somebody needs to like arrest this girl, bro. Wow. The Christian Christian Rock, the girl that uh, she used to be like a track star or something like that. She dates Blueface, the rapper. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What she do this She time? just she busted she busted his head open. She slapped him with a bottle of henny. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah. The craziest thing is you if you've seen her when she was younger when she used to do track she was a very good looking girl. Now dude, oh, yeah, she's like a little yeah. gremlin. It's I like all the, oh, the, God, dude. like it's like how do you I get like... money and then get worse? You know what I mean. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. But yeah. Um, but uh, anyway, to to play devil's advocate with the whole situation is, you know the the protocol is to just start the game, you know, and I'm sure just like how you have to go through different progressions of like who to talk to to start it and stuff like that. No one really knew how to handle it. You know, because I even saw I even saw some people as crazy as like calling out Joe Burrow because once they told him, like, you know, five minutes we're going to start back playing, uh, Burrow starts warming up, throwing. And people were, like, trying to call him out. And I'm like, 
do you not realize Stefan Diggs was doing the same thing, right? Like yeah. they don't know what to do. And, and for a lot of guys, like throwing the football might be just comforting. You know, it might just be like, holy crap, let me get my mind off and let me throw true. a ball. Very like, true. And they were like trying to call him out for it. And I'm like, no, no one knows how to react. No one knows what to do. They get told they got to play. So they're like, shoot, well, I got to, I guess I got to try and clear my head. Yeah. You know, I, I do agree. I do agree. Oh, wow. They just said that that, what is that, that? Run, they, that running back, he's a, the fresh running back, Branson Robinson, who has two touchdowns today. He's only 18. <laughs> yeah. He benches 415, <laughs> squats 625, dead left 720. God, dog. Uh, he, they got this picture of him. I'm sending it to you. His dude's jacked. <laughs> Put it up. Put it up on the thing. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, what? Hold on. Let me see if I let me do it. That oh boy's eighteen. Eighteen. That dude's biceps are like bigger than my body. <laughs> that's yeah, that's that's something crazy right there. My yeah, goodness. That dude's he's a beast. Like he's got like bodybuilder biceps. Yeah. That's that's kind of what's throwing me off. Like like they actually are like sh- cut and built and stacked like <laughs> Normally you don't see guys like that. I guarantee he played football and he worked out a lot outside of oh, the yeah. normal weight room yeah. with, with this high school. You know, I tell that to a lot of people. Uh, you know, I used to, I, I've trained a couple of younger kids that like wanted to play football, like for college or, you know, or wanted to play in high school and stuff. And I would tell them like, look, when you get it there and you hit the weight room for school, that shouldn't be the only time you work out. You're only working out for an hour you know, in, in a half, maybe with your, with your high school team, most of the time you're doing the same couple of exercises cause they can't monitor everybody. So they show you a couple and then that's it. Mm-hmm. I was like, if you want to be like the guys that you see on TV, I was like, you got to do things outside of the gym, outside of the, out, or I'm sorry, outside of your normal practices to be great. Any of these guys that you see on, on a field in college or NFL, they put in several hours outside of, of what the school Oh yeah, to do. yeah. Most most of the better players they work out way more than what the the typical player player works out. Because mm-hmm. there's there's players I'm telling you like after they worked out before practice because every team has a schedule. The schedule usually has a two hour block before practice uh, before meetings that they have to work out. Because after class they got to go right. do study hall. Then they do a two hour block of workout. Then they do te- team meetings and then they do actual practice and. More than likely, like more than likely, the the best players are are after practice the ones who had time because they didn't have class. They're back in the gym. They're back in the gym and they're working out. I need to close this. You know, it's not it's not just the weight room as well. Like it's oh, yeah, other no, things. Yeah. It's working on your on your craft. Mm-hmm. You know, like yeah, like so. You know. Definitely don't want to be the guy that's just obsessed with working out. Like you still got to work on speed. You know, what, you know, if you're a receiver catching the ball, if you, you know, whatever sport oh, yeah, you're playing, yeah. work on your technical things. To be a handoff to the right side. Looks like they're going to give another, a different running back a chance. They said, Robinson, you've had enough. You've already gotten your two touchdowns. It's time to have somebody <laughs> else come in and play. I think this dude just won uh, a high school state championship a couple months ago, and they just grabbed him a jersey and threw him in the sidelines. <laughs> hey, and you want to play? You could be right. You could be right. Yeah, my computer's <laughs> running a little slow. Let me close the windows. <laughs> Savon Clark with a nice little run. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. What? You know, it's just like, they're just not even, I mean, I get it. They're just not trying anymore. But man, my boy, my poor guy, Clark, he just, he just walked. He just walked his way to the end zone or, or <laughs> for that 30 yard gain. Like he was just walking. <laughs> he didn't spread at all. They didn't, they yeah. weren't even trying to tackle him. That dude is a beast. God damn. Branson Robinson. Uh Amulet. Wow. 65 to 7. Uh Georgia on top. Yeah, Amulet. It's been a uh God dang it, dude. One second, Amulet. Sorry, my Am I frozen? Oh no, nice. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. Okay. Yeah, it's been a it's been a rough game, man. It's been a rough game. TCU definitely um you know what I really think it is? I think TCU really just came in nervous. I think they were so nervous yeah, at the beginning they, of the game, yeah. and they just they got too far down. Like if if they would have been able to keep the score like twenty four to seven, or, or you know twenty one yeah, to seven, half. something like yeah. that at the half, I think there'd have been a chance for them to you know regain momentum and and at least try and make this interesting. But it was thirty four to seven. They yeah. they only had five first downs at that point. Their defense was getting worked on, like like they leaving holes all over the place. We saw there was three straight plays where a, a player was not open, wide open, not even covered. Three straight plays, yeah, um, and I, off, yeah. offensively, it they don't attack their best player. It, you know, it, there was a lot of things wrong with this game. It, it's unfortunate, man, because we were both happy for TCU. I knew Georgia yeah. was going to win, you know, but. But I, I really wanted to see TCU pull something crazy. I want to see them you know? show up. You know what I'm saying? Show up and show yeah. out. Like they didn't even they didn't even show well, up <laughs> to show be, out. Because you know now because now what you're gonna get is the you're gonna get back to the narrative of they don't belong here. Even though they yeah. played a hell of a game New Year's Eve weekend in round one yeah. of the playoff. A hell of a game. It, it's but they folded here in the in the big lights, man. Um you know. And the the but second thing of the second thing about this for yeah. TCU, most most of these top players they have are now going to enter the portal more likely at the end of the season and go somewhere bigger. Well, and and also, I mean, even as far as now, don't, don't wrong, some of them will still go high, but their draft capital goes down too. Those that can enter the oh, league, yeah. their capital goes down after this. Now that you played against a big team in a big spotlight, you know, certain guys that didn't get a chance, you know, really, like I said, they, you know. Quentin Thomas, especially, um, he, uh, you know, I think he'll be okay because they just didn't even try to give him the ball. But you know, some of these guys on the offensive line for for TCU, they they're losing a lot of their equity. All their secondary is losing a lot. Uh, I think their defensive line still played amazing. I think the defensive uh, line. You know, yeah. I won't, I yeah. won't put a fault on that. I think they played great. I think they played good enough football to keep them in the game. But yeah, whenever. You, Bennett, he didn't need more than three seconds to throw the ball. No, because there was a wide yeah. open player at every 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 opportunity. <laughs> You're right about that. So, I'm gonna probably post something to our channel, but there there was flies. a bet uh, with the TNT crew for Ernie and Shaq, and the bet was if Georgia wins, Shaq has to eat a horned frog. <laughs> oh God. So, uh, Shaq's crazy enough to do it, bro. When's he gonna do it? Is TNT know. on right now? I'm about to switch <laughs> over. Are they on? I think they are. But uh, yeah, I think there's a couple games on right now, so it's a good possibility they are. So I just saw the I just saw the post, and I was like, oh yeah, this this has to be honored. <laughs> this has to be honored. Oh no, okay, no, they're not on anymore. There was a basketball game earlier, but not right now. 
Uh, this is the highest Chad, score. Chad national. said, "If Georgia yeah. beats TCU, I'll eat some frogs." Hey, I mean, aren't horn frogs like like like? I mean, he's just gonna eat some frogs. I mean, frog is good. You ever had frog legs? No, I have. I, yes, I have. They're delicious. It's like chicken, bro. It's good. Yeah, very good. Yeah. Very good. It's like little little. Salt I did have them. I did have them. I did have them one time, and they didn't cook them right, and they were or like or didn't clean them right, and it was still kind of like slimy. And that turned me off, oh, but yeah. I, I tried them again, and they were really yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> Got to clean them right. But uh, Amulet says this is the highest scored uh, scoring national championship game. Yes, it is. Uh, Georgia tonight yes, covered is. the overs by themselves. Um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. And like like I said, I was playing overs regardless. Like it just I had a feeling. Georgia was going to get their points. I think that was always the story: is whether TCU was going to be able to score and mm-hmm. fight back. Uh, mm-hmm. and once they couldn't, I knew Georgia was going to run it up. Yeah. It's college football. They don't, they don't take, you know, their foot off the gas. You know, they, no, they're going to try and normally, score throughout the don't. whole game. You normally, you normally don't. Bro, he, he's, he's full blown from Georgia, bro. Full blown. You hear him talk? Yeah. The guy's yeah. country. <laughs> hey, him in there. Yeah. Really, yeah, be up in there. I gotta give my props out to uh you know, he Georgia. He from Georgia. He he out on the out in the uh out in the woods <laughs> doing this thing. They ain't got street lights out, out there. <laughs> well, Stetson, he did it, he went back to back. <laughs> I feel like I would not want to be interviewed like ever, like, like after something like that. Cause he's probably getting interviewed by like so many different networks and stuff. And he's just repeating <laughs> the same answer. Yeah. Well, we're yeah, in LA. Yeah. It's really nice out here. Weather's good. Uh, yeah. Special. <laughs> like, can I go celebrate with my team now? Like, piss off. like I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Marshawn Lynch. I- I'm just here. So I don't get fined. You know, walks away. <laughs> exactly. I'm just here. So I don't get fined. And it's, I love that because he only talked to, like, I think they had Deion Sanders was there on the sidelines, and he only talked to Deion uh-huh. that, that time. He didn't he, yeah. he didn't interview with nobody else. He only talked to Deion. <laughs> they was like, how does Deion always get the good get interviews? He was like, I'm Deion, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Marshawn Lynch, national treasure him, bro. Oh, I love Marshawn Lynch, man. I, my favorite video, he goes, uh, what you doing for Christmas? He goes, Christmas? We ain't into Thanksgiving yet. He said, I'm going back to the hood. I'm feeding the hood with turkeys. Yeah, oh, I'll come with you. You going to come? We're we going to build my community. <laughs> Whatever he said. Oh, that's when he was talking to uh, Sherman, huh? Where's the Sherman? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sherman, yeah. That's a... Uh... 65 points. That's crazy. Absolutely insane. Yeah, just looking over, uh, just a quick glance at some of the stats here. Mm-hmm. You know, we've said a lot about TCU. Max Duggan finished 14-22, 152 yards. He had the two interceptions. He couldn't get nothing going. He couldn't find his wide receivers. On the ground, Mari uh, DeMarcado, he, he didn't play bad. 14 carries, 59 yards. He, you know, he hasn't doesn't get a whole lot of rushing yards. They just really weren't having anything to go to. He's the only one that was able to be somewhat consistent uh, for them. Yeah. And even with that, it was only averaging about 3.6 yards per carry, which isn't isn't a yeah. whole lot. Um, but when you look over at George, just this dominant performance, 18 for 25 for Stenson, 304 yards, had four touchdown passes, Rushed into himself, 39 uh, rushing yards. I'm sure we're going to get him the MVP trophy uh, as we're seeing the award sa- ceremony in a couple seconds. Kenny McIntosh led the carries, 8 for 50. And then Branson Robinson, who came in right at the end, at 7 for 42 and two touchdowns to add to his stat sheet <laughs> as a 18-year-old freshman at Georgia. Um, I don't know about you. I'm going to keep, keep an eye on that young man. Uh, he's got a, yeah. he'll, he'll be in the league uh, before we know it. I mean, this was a throwaway <laughs> game, but his 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 size and physicality 
it is already something that's going to give you looks. And man, the way he ran this, those last if this two, become, yeah, those last couple runs, the way he he ran with such aggression, it was it just they could not stop him. They were it was three guys on him holding him, and he just turns slightly turns and slides his foot out and keeps pumping his leg, and they just could not yeah. hold this dude down. <laughs> Goodness gracious, man! Yeah, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be special to watch. He he's gonna be a first rounder at some point, yeah. if not first high second. I know running backs normally don't go super high in drafts anymore, but he'll he'll be up there. Um, you know, receiving Brock Bowers doing his thing, seven for one fifty two, yeah. McConkey yeah. five for eighty eight. Uh, great game by both them. I, I'm interested to see where Brock Bowers would go, man. Like, you know. The thing when watching him, his his style of play, because you know I watch college football like, but like it's on Saturdays normally. I'm like out doing stuff, so it's just more at a glance. It wasn't like he had like immaculate mount, uh, route running. Like normally when you see white wide receivers in the NFL, especially, it's because they're very like they're very slippery, right? They they yeah. have good crisp route running, and then decent hands. They're normally put in the slot, but he's a big wide receiver. He's going to be playing Six out four. wide. He has great hands, great control of the ball and you know it's the same it's similar to like what you'll see with wide receivers of that skill set like a like a michael thomas or a, like a mike evans um they don't have it's not that they had the best route running it's that their timing of their routes are perfect when they break when they how they use their and, body and out uh, of the box to get around a lot of those things is what i what agree you want to I pay agree. attention to for him also a good thing with bowers is being 6'4", 230, they're probably gonna he's probably gonna cut about fifteen pounds and add some muscle to his body when it gets to the league because he's oh, going yeah. to the league. He's six four. Oh, he, yeah, he's for going sure. to the league. And he's, the thing yeah. about him that makes him special is he takes a hit because yes. in every one of his passes, every one of the, the passes he caught, he took a hit and kept and it stayed going. Up. It was and stayed up. Oh yeah, he's going to the league. He's that's that's just besides his size, the fact that he can take a hit and keep pushing. And I don't know if he has like an injury history, but uh, he's nice. And I, I, I mean, maybe maybe I jinxed it from the beginning because when you go into our stream, a, it's a catch by him that's actually the prequel to the get into the stream. <laughs> so, oh really? Because I, I, I posted a catch from him a while back, some uh, some uh, some weeks back, and he had like a crazy the ball had bounced off of multiple hands in the defender and he turns around and catches it in mid mid stride it's just a it was just a great catch by him great great wow so he actually i didn't even realize and this kind of makes sense too he they actually line him up at they they georgia specifically lines him up as you know a wide out but his yeah. position is a tight end he's a tight and end so yeah they're, yeah, they're considering him a top tight end prospect for the NFL draft. And I wonder if this is going to be kind of a, a trend with the NFL with with tight ends, especially, you know, this was kind of started by uh, Kyle. Well, I guess started by Travis Kelsey, but you're starting to see smaller tight ends, still big guys, but like Kyle Pitts that just have, you know, good route running, mm -hmm. great hands, able to take a hit and, and be able to move forward. So I wonder if we'll start seeing a highly – uh receiving style well, it's, tight end. It's one of those things where tight end. it's happened a few times. Cause if you go back, I know you weren't watching football around this time, but Shannon Sharp, if you look mm, at Shannon mm. Sharp now, Shannon Sharp was a glorified, he was a glorified receiver that played tight end. Shannon played Sharp was a, was, was a receiver, but he played tight end because of his yeah. muscular build. So they put him in that position, mm. but he was a receiver a hundred percent. I hated to seeing him coming in with Denver. Cause I'm like, He's gonna. I know he's gonna get the rock, but because the Raiders never really guard yeah. tight ends correctly, I know he was scoring every time he got the rock. But when you look at him in his yeah. prime, he was big like a tight end, but he was like a Calvin Johnson big, where it's like the muscles are big. He wasn't like physically over like most tight ends. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was gonna say like Michael Irvin. Like Michael Irvin's kind of like yeah. that too. Michael Irvin was big enough where he probably could have played a tight end if he wanted to. Yeah, as well because he had that size. Um. Yeah, because when I when I first started watching football, it was all Tony Gonzalez. Uh, yeah, yeah. Antonio Gates. I had I tried to get bigger, him every single bigger fantasy players, draft that I ever they're had. Much bigger. Yeah. yeah, but they're bigger players. Yeah. yeah, yeah, much bigger. Those are like the top tight ends that I watched. And then there was a guy for Washington, Win Winslow. 
Yes. Callum Winslow is is that who I'm thinking? I think of? if that I think that that's was, the first that was thing also too. Really Winslow nice too. I think he ended yeah. up. He played. He played in Washington for a while. I forgot where he ended up. I was like, did he go to Seattle? He went somewhere else. I forget where he went to. But uh, and Diego said, "Damn, everyone that like, grand, uh-huh. <laughs> grandma's got touchdown." Yes. So we have. Branson Robinson scored two touchdowns. Stetson Bennett himself scored two touchdowns on the ground. Uh, Kendall Milton scored a touchdown. So that's five on the the rushing. Then receiving Brock Bowers scored. But he one went to touchdown. jail. Lad, did he Punch. really? Lad yeah, McCon- he went to jail. Fourteen years. Did not know that. Lad, uh, Lad McConkey scored two touchdowns. Uh, Adon- Adonye Mitchell scored a touchdown. So they scored a collective <laughs> nine touchdowns. Oh, uh, raping, apparently. A rapist. Wow. Did not know that. Well, we won't be talking this about that. Re- I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that dude sucks. Yeah, yeah that I happened this, this year. What? This year. Yeah. Or, well, la- last, well, two, okay, I lied. Two years ago, 2021. I'm forgetting what year we're in. That's so wild. I can't see myself. Yeah, this it's refreshing, but it's very. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, you're back now. Yeah. Um, they got the stogies think... out. Oh, got me jealous, bro. So, someone had stogies the other day, and I forgot to bring one. And I was like, "Dang!" I was like, "I haven't had one in forever." <laughs> trying to think, who? What are the tight ends? I don't think it was in 2010s. Oh, oh, wait! Oh, I forgot about Witten too. Yeah, Kelly. Okay, oh, Kellen yeah. Winslow was the guy I was thinking of. So it was like Tony Gonzalez. Uh. It was yeah, it was Antonio Gates, Kellen Winslow, he was in there, Tony Gonzalez, and then it was also uh Dallas Clark that played for Indianapolis. Mm-hmm. I remember I liked him a lot. Uh Witten for Dallas, who played for yeah, Dallas. Witten. Um the of course uh um Gronk and then the uh other dude, I forgot his name. But Gronk Gronk was a little bit I know that later I later I was just yeah, saying like as far as, from me, yeah. as far as top tight ends. Yeah, back then, yeah, yeah. He was he came in like early 2010s, I believe. Yeah, right? yeah. But Dorm, I mean, yeah, I was that thinking day, like I was I was thinking my years when I first started watching, which was between like 2003 oh, yeah, to like 2000 and like eight, 2009. Damn, bro, just rub it in, Reese. If I'm TCU, bro, you better you better go buy your car after this. I'm throwing eggs at your shit. <laughs> Boy, my boy Bill can't even hold his own mic. He's so bougie. <laughs> He's so rich. <laughs> Coach Kirby. Damn, bro. Y'all couldn't even gloss the thing out. Y'all got to give it to him with all the fingerprints? <laughs> I ain't going to lie. They could do a lot better with their trophy. Oh, yeah. It's very simple. You know? I feel like y'all went and changed it to, like, made a playoff thing. Like, you would redo the trophy, make it look really, you know, really nice. Mm -hmm. Very basic. Let's look at these t-shirts, bro. I was trying to see, like, what that little logo is on the t-shirt. Uh, Elite. What's good, Elite? How you doing, baby? Uh, 
that's uh, Alabama should have been in the play. Oh, that's why Alabama should have been in the playoffs. <laughs> Man, you know, we we already said, Elite, that everybody was going to come in and start yeah. saying that. TCU have played a hell of a game against Michigan. I don't think I don't think Alabama beats Michigan, but they definitely they definitely choked it out on uh in the national championship they, game. They let the pressure get to them, man. I'm telling you, just from my experience, you, you only got a few moments in those games to make a difference. And and unfortunately the, the coaching was not able to help them get over the hump of just being intimidated by the by the limelight. That light is big, man. That light is that is and it's bright. So it's, it's it's they weren't able to get over it. I'm gonna use a restroom. Yo, yo, Ben, it's an ass. He said I, I didn't even get touched. Anyone could have done what I did. <laughs> yeah, hey, shout out Bennett, bro. Shout out Benny. His story alone like makes me okay with Georgia winning. You know, like it makes me happy. For oh him. yeah, yeah, a hundred percent. His story alone, Benny. You got a fan in me, bro. Yeah, go do your thing. None of her. I heard you by the way. Yeah, right back. He going back to back. I've heard that song forever. Uh, Lee said, "My Titans lost. It's been a sad year for my sports teams." Yeah. Yeah, it's a tough look for Titans, man. Who do y'all who who do you want to see uh be hired as y'all's offense coordinator? Uh I've seen uh, a lot of people asking for uh Kinsbury from uh Arizona to come over. A lot of people begging for a new quarterback. Do you think they do you think they have the answer in their quarterback room right now? Do they go and grab a rookie? Do they try and grab a vet? What do they do? I just saw Skyla lost because she chose the Rams versus the Saints. Rams versus Saints. Is that why she lost? So that that whole thing is honestly like super messed up. <laughs> like, cause Skyla actually Skyla actually won last week, but um because the Buffalo Cincinnati game got canceled. They took away the points that Hurst had. Hurst had six points. She was up by five. And uh, they took the points away. So technically, technically, Nate won. But morally, Skyla was in the lead and won and won it. So we were like, we'll just do it again. And uh, yeah, she, she, she probably should have looked at her team a little bit deeper because I don't think she had like three or four players that just didn't play at all. And she didn't, she didn't uh, check it. So Nate wins. So we will have a um, we will have a stream uh, announcing. Well, obviously, like officially announcing the winner. Um, I talked to Nate about what he wants his prize to be. So I have two different ideas. Um, I'm waiting for my debit card that got hacked to come back in, so I can go ahead and order what it is. Uh, but we're gonna. I think we're gonna wait on a particular thing to see whether or not it happens or not, and uh, we'll get him a. a and then we'll make that his gift. Uh, Elite says Tannehill is probably QB one next year again. Elite, I think y'all just need a riot. If you want me to be honest with y'all, like, can y'all riot? Like, is that a thing that's possible? Like, just riot. Just pull up, pull up to the damn um, like practices next year and be like bench Tannehill. He's not gonna get y'all anywhere. He, he's gonna get y'all to where y'all been the last couple of years, right? It, and I understand that because because I've I've been there uh, in a different way. I'm gonna fix my camera for some guys. Um, I've been there with the Saints, right? I understand. Like with the Saints, we built up our offense so much, and we'd make playoffs and we'd win the division, but we didn't have a chance at a Super Bowl. You know, that's where y'all are at. Y'all will constantly be high ranked team because of. Brable's a really great coach. Y'all dealt with injuries the last two years, so I think that stopped you from getting in the playoffs this year. But <laughs> overall, y'all aren't going to get anywhere with Tannehill. Like it's just not going to happen. It, it, the oh, the league is the so it's the 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 league is so pass based now. You have to have a skill athletic quarterback. 
Tannehill used to be able to bail himself out because he was able to be mobile. He's getting up in age. You don't see him running around like how, how he used to. He, he doesn't have the greatest arm, doesn't have the greatest accuracy. Like, there's no reason to keep him anymore and and just get the inevitable. What what does it matter if you win divisions, but you get first rounded every time in the playoffs, you know? Oh, yeah, because you, you can't depend on Tannehill to really – you can't trust him with that. You can't trust him at all. I, I said this, and I understand why like they couldn't get rid of him that year because y'all won the division, whatever. Y'all had to buy like all this stuff and everything. But he lost y'all that playoff match last year. Three interceptions oh, that were the worst interceptions I've ever seen in a playoff game in my life. He lost y'all that game. It's like I knew they wouldn't do it, but I said they should have. Kick the man out right there. Pack up your bags. You're not coming back. You lost us our chance. It's the best team that we've put together in a long and time. Those, those three exceptions were thrown to the same spot. <laughs> yeah. The same as that spot each time. It's like, dude, what are you doing? Uh, Elite says, man, we need to get a star, man. I don't know what to do. We need – I. I don't know what to do. We need to try to get Shroud, and Henry only has uh, one good left. And then you you said something. I didn't mean Henry or something like that. Uh, Okay, so you want to get you want to get Shroud? Yeah, y'all are in that y'all are in that hard that hard part. Like this bad season is kind of like a it's kind of a good thing for y'all because. Y'all make playoffs again, then y'all don't change a whole lot. Y'all don't make it this year like y'all did. Now people start looking at what's the problem. That's why you're starting to see some things change in y'all's uh, coaching staff. Um, I'm assuming y'all going to see some things change with y'all's players. It, mm-hmm. It's a blessing in disguise, really, because you weren't 12 and four or whatever. You, you know, you had a, a bad season. Now, Instead of saying like, "Oh, we play good," we just look bad in playoffs. Now it's like, "Oh no, we actually were bad. Yeah. We need it. We need to get yeah. better. What can we do now to make ourselves better?" It, it is the same thing for. Uh, it's the same thing for the Saints. Like, like I'm happy. Like I'm almost mad that we end up playing good the last couple of games, except for you know against Carolina this past weekend. Because now that we had a couple of wins, now it makes everybody feel like, oh, wait, this might actually work if we had a full season of time for them to work together. Yeah. Whenever anyone with any type of IQ can look at it and be like, no, this is not good football, you know? Uh, Elite says, and we could free up 30 mil in cap space. If we cut Tanhill, PS, sorry, the auto spells keeps messing me up. I sound like a, <laughs> you're, you're good, Elite. You're good, Elite. <laughs> Trust me, I'm ten times worse, bro. Whenever, when it, before I got on this show with Nan, I used to just be in the comment <laughs> section with y'all. Now I'd be like, "What the hell are you talking about?" I'd be like, "Shit, I'm driving. Give me a break. I'm, like, I'm, I'm just trying to listen. Give me a break. I can't type either, bro." <laughs> That's too funny. Uh, but. Lord Almighty, that was a good one. Your brother okay? He died over brother there? Coughing. I was about to say, is he dying allergies. over there? Is he allergies. good? <laughs> allergies. Oh, yeah, that's the worst. That's the worst. Um, but uh, let's see. Let's see what we got going on in the world of sports. I know uh, Nan talked about it a little bit earlier, looking at the NFL and the playoffs coming up. Yes. Here's going to. Let's go ahead and give a look at that. We're going to have wild card weekend, which starts January 12th. Uh, well, first official game is January 14th. I don't know why they have it as January 12th, but January 14th on Saturday, the early game is going to be uh, 3.30 p.m. Seahawks versus 49ers. Dude, I I feel bad for Cheesehead. Cheesehead, I don't know if you're still here, brother. I, I'm not going to lie. It, it really was not even against your Packers that I didn't want them to go in. It's the fact that I wanted Geno Smith to see yeah. the playoffs. <laughs> I, I really was happy that Detroit was able to go ahead and take that win. That way Seahawks could get there. I, you know, to me, it's a very, like, heartwarming story for Geno. I, and he also had the hardest quote of, of the century. Like, I'm going to say the century already. They wrote me off, but I didn't write back. 
<laughs> and I'll see your I'll see your asses in the playoffs against the 49ers. Uh, but in saying that, they're gonna be playing at Levi Stadium. Uh Brock Purdy is I think Brock Purdy is a real deal, bro. I'm starting the 49ers next. I'm starting Brock Purdy next year. I don't care oh, who's back. Gonna, yeah. You might I, I'm doing it. Did you see the game this past weekend? This nine killed them. Did not. Killed them. Killed them. I have to watch the highlights. Um, I have to watch highlights. I was just looking at the stats Giants and the score. The Super Bowl. <laughs> Giants to Super Bowl. Hey, yo, Saquon Barkley. <laughs> and and Danny Dimes. I don't think beat Minnesota, though, so. Yeah, they're not beating Minnesota. They might, though. Anyone can beat Minnesota. Even though no one really has, anyone could. It depends on what Kirk Cousins we get. Uh, but 49ers yeah, Seahawks, who you got, Nan? That's true. Oh, I got Niners. Yeah, yeah. I got. I like. Uh, I, I like what's happening in Seattle. You know what I'm saying? You know, even though I don't like the coach, I like what's happening there. I like Gino. Like it's like seeing him finally get his uh his respect. But the Niners just have a, just a really good team, and this team is meant to go to the Super Bowl. Yeah, I I, I kind of agree with you. Daigle said, I'm all in on the 49ers. Uh, Lee said, I'm calling it right now. If two is back, Dolphins will make it to the AFC Championships. Make Mark my word. Elite, that's a brave statement there because they play the Buffalo Bills first. We'll get to that game in a second. The next up is going to be Jar- uh, Chargers and Jaguars, uh, or as as uh, Nate says, Jaguars. That's doing too much. Um, <laughs> ja- Jaguars. <laughs> Jaguars. Uh, it's going to be in Jacksonville at TIAA Bank Field hosting the Chargers. I think this game is going to be great. We are going to try and go live for this game at 715 on Saturday. So make sure that if you're planning to watch some playoff football, that you go ahead, tune in over here to us on Real Fan Sports. We'll let you know when we get synced up. We'll get your screen synced up with our screen, and we'll have a good time enjoying some playoff football. We do try and go live for as many playoff games as we can we do this with the nba and the nfl we're not promising all of them but we're going to try and do every single one that we possibly can uh, but season. it that's exactly what it is who do you got between jaguars and chargers i'm going with jacksonville i'm going with jacksonville I, i'm going with jacksonville 100 <laughs> percent jacksonville elite says man i hate the jags and everything but they're winning that game yeah I think the Jags will win that game too. God, I like I try like to be opposite of you sometimes, just so like it'll be fun. <laughs> but like my my heart is telling me the Jaguars are gonna win this game, bro. Yeah, I I just feel like the Jaguars. Even though Chargers are in my same I division, love- I I do like Herbert. I like him a lot. But yeah. I just there is something that is developing in Jacksonville, and it, I don't know what it it's is. Special I don't know what you right now. Call it. But it's Jack. Now, Jacksonville's winning that game. Now, won't they be without? Is it was it was it um, was it Christian Kirk or was it Rondell Moore that got the uh, the finger? Oh, I don't. I do not remember. Uh, I, I thought it was. Game. I thought it was Kirk. Let's see what it says for injuries. So I know. I know. I saw it on Facebook. I can't remember who it was. I don't know why I thought it was Christian Kirk, but I could. I could have it messed up. Yeah. Um, okay. Diego says yeah. I'm for the Jags because of uh, Uchman. You know, I really just love the uh, development of of Sunshine out there, just doing his thing. Everyone said that he was the most uh, ready college football player for the pros and he had a tough year last year we all me and now were a little nervous just for him going to the jaguars and if he can even have a career there because of how bad that franchise has been i mean but he's making it yeah. work they they got pieces they got wide receivers none of them are, are great i would not put christian kirk as a great wide receiver or chark but they're just nfl wide receivers they're still good but they're not great they're not top guys i will say but he's getting them open and, and making it work zay jones he got the bag wing left from the raiders and went to jacksonville but zay jones has actually played a really big part in the progression of this team he looks good he looks really good of course he's not a number one receiver but he's playing with a chip of, chip on the shoulder like he is a number one receiver um as far as the injury yeah. report from what i see right now Mike Williams is questionable. Kenneth Murray Jr. is questionable. Uh, Xander Hor- Horvath is out. And as far as Jacksonville, no injured players. Okay, so it must have been Rondell Moore then that uh, that that injury was. I always got yeah. them confused when they played on um, 
uh, Arizona together uh, last year. So, but um, all right, so well, over, cool. Uh, over under is forty seven point five. I'm hoping it's a good game. So I'm going Jacksonville. Yeah. That's I'm what I'm, I'm, I'm joining you. Yeah. Uh, and then Sunday, uh, Sunday, Sunday, again, Sunday, Sunday. we, we would love to do all the games on Sunday. Uh, we're going to try and figure out what, what we can manage. Like you said, we, you know, we have a couple of different things. I think non still has a, a damn, um, what's it called in this house? <laughs> uh, they humidifier. Should, it, sh- it should be coming out. Um, I talked to them. They came in today. Should be coming out hopefully tomorrow. So. Oh. Nice well, if that's the case, then we, we you know, we're, we're going to try our best to do all three, but we'll definitely yeah. catch at least one or two of them. So y'all, like you said, stay tuned. You're going to get a lot of real fan sports here. If y'all do enjoy coming and bull, you know, BSing with us and having a conversation, come stop by, swing by, have bring it up. But Dolphins and Bills. Now, at least I already said Dolphins are going to win if Tua comes back. What's the word on Tua? Do we know? I'm actually pulling up now so I can see. McDaniel says Mike McDaniel says Tua not cleared for football activities. This was five hours ago, and it's a video, thirty second video posted five hours ago. So, so yeah, so not cleared. So the way the way con- yeah. the way concussion protocol works is that there's a a series of tests that he has to pass in order to play. Now he can mm-hmm. pass those tests, you know, by Saturday and play on Sunday. That is always possible. So, you know, typically when a when a guy gets uh, someone gets concussed the game before, they go throughout the week and they won't get activated until game day because it might take that long for him to pass it. So, all of those things uh, considering, um, but I don't think it matters for me. The, I don't think it either. Um, but looking at this injury report for Miami, Cedric Wilson Jr. is out. Jalen Waddle is questionable. Tua, of course, is out at the moment. Raheem Mostart has the thumb issue. He's he's questionable. Skyler Thompson, the backup quarterback, is questionable. Yeah. So it's like, it's I don't see them even com- really bringing enough to the table to be able to hold their own against Buffalo. I agree. I think I think this is a game that that Bills will not lose. Um, I think I think the Bills got the most unorthodox way of momentum and, and just like uh, I'm trying to think, think of like the best word to, to express it, but the things that happened with, with Hamlin, DeMar Hamlin and things that they went through, you know, they lost their first seed because of that. And and chances are that it looked like they were going to lose that Cincinnati game. It was still early, but they lost, yeah. they lost their first seed because of it. They lost their buy, which, you know, they felt was a big factor of them not having home field advantage last year while they didn't make the uh, Super Bowl. I think mm-hmm. it doesn't matter where they play right now. The Bills are going to show out bigger than they ever had before. You know, there's been people that's came and said, all oh, the Bills are looking rusty. They're making mistakes that we're not used to seeing. I, I don't think we're going to see that anymore. We're about to see an electrified Bills team for the rest of the time. Because just imagine they come out to a game and you're going to have Hamlin there uh, introducing the team or just on the sidelines whenever he's finally cleared and is able to go home and, and you know, be there for his team. It, it It's a it's a motivation that that you don't want to have to have that motivation, but it's one that that carries weight. Well, I will say when when. Yes, there's a motivation that, you know, that, that definitely carries weight, but at the same time. I don't know if many many remember uh, Diggs watching the Chiefs celebrate. There's a picture I grabbed. I'm going to post on our profiles and I'll post our stuff. But it's, that picture to me is, was just said so many words. Like to put yourself through that kind of pain to watch the team celebrate and knowing that you should have been there, you know, because of a couple of missed opportunities, you could have been there. Mm. If Diggs don't show out <laughs> in this postseason. I don't know what I I don't know what's going on, but I I see Diggs having a career of a career in just the postseason alone. Oh, yes, so you're so you're so you're saying when I make my bets, you're saying when I make my bets this weekend that uh play play Diggs whatever the best uh favor, favorable odds are, huh? Is that what yeah, you're telling me? I'm saying right. Diggs, 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 Diggs to the house, Diggs for president. <laughs> I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Um. Yeah, so I got Bills that game. I, I I'm really going Bills regardless if two is healthy or not in, in this game. 
particularly. I, I just don't think the Dolphins are What's there good, yet. I think they're on the edge. It was a good joke. You're going to take some jujitsu? Ooh, jujitsu is fun, man, from what I've heard. My friend used to do it a lot. Uh, but, yeah, I think I think the Dolphins just aren't there yet. There are, I don't want to double back again, and I want to keep talking, but I, I meant to talk about you with this earlier uh, through IG. There's rumors, right? Well, there were rumors that if the Dolphins didn't make the playoffs this year, that they were going to fire yes, the coach. that's a big – here's the thing. Why? Here's, here's the thing. This I was talking to Mozzie about this, and I was talking to Forty about this. This is showing me that what – I forgot the previous coach that was there that had the issue with them. This is showing me that what he was saying – Yes. Bo- yeah, wow, this was saying – what he was saying about him being fired is possibly true that the upper echelon of Miami is really good at throwing games. And I feel like now mm-hmm. is, is this team just a – just they're holding this team as ownership just for a tax write-off? Because what's the point of doing that? You have one of the brightest minds in, on offense right now as your head coach. And he's turned around to it to look yeah. like he's actually meant to be in the professional <laughs> professional realm. Why would you get yeah. rid of him? Oh, man, we gave him we gave him. Oh, help. yes. We gave but it was help. deserved. At the it beginning was, of this. It was well deserved. Started. It was. Now, too, it looks like. His, his coaching style might be unorthodox it might be a little like cringy and mm-hmm. trolly and, and stuff like that and not what you're used to seeing but it won you games and games that you lost it wasn't it was more because you didn't have the players out there or like you know yes. like you didn't have the guys that would win you games y'all had close games against some of the best teams in the league it's yeah man i, di- I didn't understand it i didn't understand it. i'm like if y'all man I really, I'll take him over Josh McDaniels <laughs> any day. True. Somebody, True. somebody who's somebody who can come in there and with even though he's younger than most of the guys on the staff, most of the guys on the team, <laughs> he come what in there. You, what if you? What and, if you've known the Dolphins to have a culture? Um, in the eighties and nineties, when they actually had, you know, uh, Dan Marino. <laughs> Dan Marino, right? You know, that was yeah. that was exactly. it. That was that's when it ended. You know, yeah. I mean, so that that says that says a lot. And, after, uh, yeah, after the man, first Ace Ventura movie, when that 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 ended, <laughs> and you know the thing the thing with that is is you know I mean obviously no one's gonna sacrifice a paycheck you know but at, at the same time like if I'm a player or anyone on that staff if I would get any offers to go work with anywhere I'm leaving I'm not risking myself yeah. while my, I'm hot while I, while I'm in the hot seat and I you know I'm, I got the hot hand people are ready to pay me. I'm leaving. I'm not staying because I want to work for this organization hearing some of this stuff. The way they handled the situation last year and then going into this, that's crazy. But uh, anyway, Bills win. Uh, that's that's the uh, the verdict. Uh, Giants versus Vikings going to be at 3.30 p.m. Uh, it's going to be at U.S. Bank Stadium in Minneapolis. Do we see the Kirk Cousins that's led the Vikings to 13 13- that led the that led the Vikings to thirteen wins, or do we see the Kirk Cousins that led the Vikings to four losses? Because that's the difference. None of those games that were losses were like, oh, like, oh uh, yeah, it was just a tough game. The other team won. Mm-hmm. It was no Kirk Cousins. It turned into Kirk Cousins, primetime Kirk Cousins. Yeah. What what do we see here? Man, it, you want to say Minnesota because Minnesota does have technically have the better team. Um but I don't know, bro. <laughs> That's in all honesty, I honestly do not know. Because Kirk Cousins, there's two sides to Kirk Cousins. There's there's Dr. Jekyll and Dr. and, and Mr. Hyde. And mm. when he turns to Jekyll, man, when he turns to Jekyll, that's an ugly version of him you, nobody wants to see play. You, nobody wants yep. to see that because he just looks like a shell of a shell of himself. And, but mm-hmm. when he's high and he's on point and he's playing the best game he plays, he looks like a pretty he's a, good he's a, quarterback. A, a He's a Pro Bowl uh, first team quarterback. Yeah. He really is. When he plays the way that 
he, to his higher echelon of himself. Because I wouldn't even say like plays out of his body yeah. because I think it is him to play good. Yes. But I think he gets lost at some point. Like at some point, it's like you see one week and you're like, damn, this dude's really good. It's like this, man, this dude could have a – like if you would be blind to him and you watch some of his games, you'd be like, this is a Hall of Fame career player. And then you watch the very next week and you're like, this dude should be on the bench somewhere or playing in <laughs> Canada, like, or the USFL. It, yeah. it just, uh, it don't make sense. So um, I'm going Vikings. I think Vikings win this. They, 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 you know, they're really good at winning their, their wildcard playoff games. They always I, do. I, I feel this the Vikings will win it. You know, that's, that's what I want to go with. But I just, like I said, it's all on Kirk Cousins, man. All on Cousins. And then our last game is going to be at 7.15 p.m. Uh, like I said, we're definitely going to try and be here for as many of these games as possible. Uh, but Ravens versus Bengals. Uh, Bengals also, you know, a little bit emotionally um, attached to things that happened last weekend. Uh, you know, obviously nowhere near as much. Uh, and honestly, And you had this happen. Now that you know Ham was doing good and stuff like that, you know it, you, you feel like pride to go play. Try to when you when when you're the uh, when you're the Bengals, it's it's kind of opposite, right? Mm -hmm. The Bengals is kind of like, man, I witnessed it. You had a player that did it, yeah. And now it, you're like, you know, where are you? Where's your head at? Luckily for the Bengals, Lamar Jackson is just he's been so hurt this year. That's been that's been tough for him. Uh I think the Bengals uh, the Bengals are gonna win this game. They're they're a seventy one point six percent favorite. Um I don't think there's anything you turn away from that. Yeah, I don't I don't see Baltimore winning this game. I, there's 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 no stat you can tell me, there's no numbers, there's no yeah, I don't know. Cincinnati's winning this. Probably by two touchdowns. Easy. Yeah, I, th I think so, too. Uh, and then that'll leave all the questions in the offseason. The offseason is going to be fun with the uh, battle for Lamar Jackson. I, I really hope Lamar plays the game the right way. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, I hope he I hope he goes and shops. I hope he makes it interesting for everybody. I think at the end of the day, he's going to he's gonna wind up back with Baltimore. I think he should. Uh, yeah. But, but I want to see him make them really want him. Like he he does it all himself. He doesn't have a lawyer. He doesn't have a guy that handles it. He does it him between him and his family. I want to see him work yeah. the ends and get the most out of it because they they've proven without Lamar Jackson, this Ravens team is is a under I wouldn't even say under five hundred, a under three hundred team. Well, I mean the, the the Lamar Jackson name is definitely another name that's tied to the Raiders postseason. So It'll be interesting. <laughs> I'd, I'll take. I'd rather mm. take him than Brady. I, I'll take him before I take Brady. And even and you know I'm not even high. I'm not even super high on him. So hey, I'd Lamar would look good in in, in the black and silver, bro. He'd look good in the black. Oh and silver. yeah, he definitely would. <laughs> he definitely would. <laughs> Yeah. And then, of course, the NFL is going to give Tom Brady a time to shine. Put him on Monday Night Football, seven fifteen, January sixteenth. Cowboys take on the Buccaneers in Tampa. Cowboys and Tampa Bay met earlier this season, first game of the week, and it was actually on Monday Night Football. So we're just getting a complete, uh, uh, what, what, what's it called? Uh, where uh, complete arc. Goodness, arc I'm losing my mind. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Some, something, something, something like that, where you feel like you've seen it before, and 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 you know you saw it again. What, what's that called? It's gonna piss me off. Deja I'm gonna think about it all night. Deja vu. Yeah, some deja vu here. Uh, Buccaneers were successful yeah. in that in that game. They went ahead and took the win over the Cowboys. Um, I don't even think that game was that close. The Buccaneers were looking dominant in that game. They were throwing the ball all over the place. Now the Buccaneers have slowed down. Their run game is not what it used to be. I, I don't know why. Last year, we saw opposite. They had no run game in the beginning of the season. And then the second half, it was all run. Fournette yeah. getting in action, doing his thing. And then this year, it's been opposite. Fournette came out doing good. White got involved. And now the run game seems irrelevant. Uh, who wins out of the Cowboys and Buccaneers? You know, <laughs> what's interesting about this is it's Brady and a possible swan song or a move to the Raiders. Another another name tied to the Raiders. Um, 
Dak has just not looked great these last four games. He has looked pretty no. pedestrian. Like, I know he's a starter and that's his team, but I guarantee you if Cooper Rush was still there, they would at least want two, two, two or more of them games because he just doesn't look good. I don't know what it is. What is it about Dak? He Dude, just Dak. does not. He's so talented. So talented. But w- that's and that's what exactly what I was gonna say. It pisses me off that he's so talented and can be so good. Like, like I, I wouldn't put him at Kirk Cousins level, mm-hmm. but like it, he's right there to where it's like he is. He's good enough to where he can dictate a game and take control of a game in a way that that uh, concludes the outcome of it. Right? Yeah. It's not like with Minnesota where they have Dalvin Cook, they have Justin Jefferson, they have like a lot of these other talented side of, side of players that that can yeah. just make things happen. Like you can throw it to Justin Jefferson, a five yard pass, he'll take it seventy yards and juke fifteen people and make it to you know make it to the end zone. With the Cowboys, it is on Dak's shoulder. Yes, they have a talent at running back with with the uh, dual threat with Pollard and uh, Zeke, and then you have CD Lamb at wide receiver. But other than that, like that that is their game plan. Dak's ability to throw the ball, his timing, where he puts the ball is what dictates how this game is mm-hmm. played. And I guarantee you the Bucs know this, and they're going to try and exploit Dak as much as possible. Now, on the Cowboys, they should also see how Tom Brady plays. You rush four. If you can rush four and put pressure on Tom within the first couple of seconds, he gets flustered instantly, and you take him out the game. Uh, so it's going to be a lot on Micah Parsons. He's going to be the X factor in this game on Monday for me. Oh, yeah, and and when it comes to Dak Prescott, he has le- league-leading interceptions at 15. You know, league-leading interceptions. But what you're saying about Tom Brady is 100% true. You don't have to even – you don't have to even sack Brady. You just no, got to touch him. You just got to mm-hmm. touch him. If he feels every once in a while – that a, a hand is hitting his shoulder, a hand is hitting his elbow, a hand is hitting his sides. I guarantee you, he will make mistakes. He will throw interceptions. That's what Brady. Brady is a very accomplished uh, quarterback, but he make he's very he's like Philip well, Rivers. You don't have to sack you know, him to force him to make mistakes. You know the thing. The thing with the thing with Brady is that, luckily, throughout the majority of his career, he never had to deal with it because. Yeah. He might not have had weapons, but he took that pay cuts. That way he could build up his O-line. Yeah. He wanted to protect that pretty face. Trust his, me, though. I know. That's what it was. During his Super Bowl reign, there were several Fresno State players that were O-line for the Patriots. So I know. Mm-hmm. That's <laughs> I all know. it was. That's all it was. Yeah. So you get Micah Parsons is going to be the X factor in this game. Mm-hmm. I need Diggs. I need Diggs to do his job. Oh, yeah. So he said, I don't need him to be an X factor. And like, like I hope Cowboys see it that way. I mean, obviously you're not going to tell a player to like not go and play your ball game, but like, I hope oh, yeah, he realized just stay, stay solid. Don't give up big plays. Don't allow Brady to get any type of momentum. Cause once Brady throws that one long touchdown shot, y'all are in here for a game. It's about to be, uh, he's about to put up 30. something. it's points. funny that you say that because Brady's equivalent to throwing that long touchdown shot is to see is Steph getting that first long three pointer. And he hasn't, you know, Steph, yep. Steph being cold for the night. He just has to hit one. Once he one. hits one, it's a wrap. And that's Brady. He gets one 35 yarder down the, down the field. And, and it's a, Brady has a beautiful pass. He puts a beautiful spin on the ball. And we all know that he just has to see one. Once he sees it, I don't care who's out there. You can put me and Zach on both ends. We're, I guarantee you we both scored a touchdown that game. I guarantee yep. you that. It doesn't matter. Yep. And that's what that's, it doesn't that's, matter. That's yep. the Brady effect. I, I, I've, I've seen it. I've seen it enough. I mean, just the last yeah, uh, three years of, ha- of having to see him twice, twice a week or twice a season. Uh, he gets that one. He, you're, you're praying. You're, you're on yep. hands and knees praying that that somehow you can make something miraculous happen because he's he's going to come back and win you know it doesn't matter how much you're up by he gets that one and there's a shot in hell take that shot your best bet is that that one is at the end of the game where it's garbage time because if it's if you're only up by 21 points and he gets that that one and it's right before halftime right coming out of halftime it's going to be two more (laughs) i'm wearing i'm wearing i'm wearing the shirt 28 to 3 i'm wearing the shirt (laughs) 
is going to happen. He needs two minutes and 17 seconds left in the third quarter to get that shot. And then and it's the fact over. that this game is in uh, uh, Raymond James Stadium, and this possibly could be a swan song for him as, him as well if he doesn't decide to stay, officially stay. This is, this is you know, I know we joke about being scripted and we joke about the games being fixed, but regardless, we, there's no truth to that, so we have no idea. But this is one of those stories his for story. his career. Yeah. yeah. For his career, because he is the star of his story. There is no other stars in his story. This game right here yep. is the perfect book ending for him. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, the other thing is the Buccaneers are nice and healthy now, too. Yeah. yeah. Evans and Godwin have been both back for a couple weeks. They're probably feeling dang near close to 100%. No one's 100% in the NFL, but they're feeling dang near close to it right yeah. now. It, they Cowboys better come out and be ready to play. They are favored by three points right now. The over under is 45 and a half. Um, I, you know, I really, you know what? I, I really want the cow. I, I'm going bucks. I'm going bucks. I think bucks win it. I, I think talking about this it is convinced me that I think that Brady's not going to get first rounded. <laughs> uh, and I, I so don't want to pick the Bucks, but like I said, I feel like this is that game. This is mm-hmm. that game where we everyone questions again. Just like just it's just like what we do for LeBron when you think okay, LeBron's you know oh, he's whatever he's thirty eight, but then LeBron is averaging thirty points in the season. That makes yeah. you rethink. Damn, is he really done? Yeah, Damn, is he really is, done? This could be that game for Brady. Yeah, this could be that game for Brady. This, like, I mean, one one good game against the Cowboys, who were arguably that was a team up to be the number one in the league, Buccaneers, and yeah. they in probably one of the worst divisions in football right now. Uh, he feels no pressure. Yeah, none. Yeah, this. Yeah, it's, this this time where it's Brady. like, oh, oh Tom, still Tom, three, Brady feel. Yeah, Tom still has three years years in it, bro. Yeah, yeah. That, and that and it's now been proven that Dallas defense ain't as bomb as everybody thought it was. There's they have pieces. It ain't what yeah, everybody cool. thought it was. It ain't what every, and that's and that's all Brady needs to know. It's not what we thought it was. So because very we true. know it's not what we thought it was, I can beat it. That's Tom Brady. That's very true. It's very true. If, um, if and they, then just any, if any right? quarterback goes to a situation where they think they know, well, they just have a feeling I can beat this defense. That's the guy. Yeah. <laughs> and and yeah. just to uh, just to wrap things up with with football is. You know, with the playoffs coming up, um, we're still going to, like I said, cover as much playoffs as we can, but we are going to start getting into basketball a little bit more. So those of y'all that are still here with us, um, you know, I think what I think what I might do is post a little community post, let know, you know, asking you what your favorite NBA team is. Uh, you know, a lot of times we used to do just whatever game was on TNT, but we do What's have up, the Skyler? access and ability to yeah. be able to catch uh all games. So, you know, if there's a team that you really like and you want us to see and that you just might not have the live coverage of it, because I know I don't always have it with the Pelicans. I have to use my VPN in order to get it. Let us know, and we'll, we'll cover some games, uh, especially once the NFL season ends. We'll, we'll be on here at least two times a week covering NBA basketball. And then, of course, once playoff comes, playoffs comes here on Real Fan Sports with the NBA is is y'all going to see us in our in our true <laughs> natural environment bro cuz we are stressing we're we're doing 9 10 hour streams yeah. just just going so we're going to have some fun during the during those times again <laughs> so yeah um <laughs> out of the it, there's six games for a uh, wild card weekend we're, we're not sure total what we all can do but we will definitely try to do more than just one um I, I definitely mm-hmm. would like. Yeah, we'll definitely have the Monday. I definitely want to do yeah. the Saturday night. I would like to do the and Buffalo Sunday game, just because I, I I think the Buffalo story is still is it's still a story that's not finished. Um, definitely. And the Cincinnati story, I think, is one that we should do. But if we can do all three. We'll try. Because yeah, the Minnesota thing is just it's just interesting, which we'll see. You know, yeah. for sure, so, for sure. More likely, me and Zach, we. As the week progresses, we will talk more and discuss more. And once we kind of have it narrowed down to what we're gonna do, I will create, um, I will create the premieres for all that we are able to do, so you guys can see in advance. Definitely. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Scott, I'm gonna give you a call right after uh, we're done here. Uh, I think that's mm-hmm. it for me, Non. Non, you want to go ahead and uh, let them know the votes, what the tally was for today. Uh. 
Okay, yeah, I was just looking up there saying something about Tua. So for the we had twenty nine votes today, and twenty eight percent for the Horn Frogs, thirty one percent for Bulldogs. Interesting how close it was on the votes. Yeah. Very, wow. I think that's the closest we've ever had on any of the polls. Uh, kind oh, of sports are better three percent, and don't care, but I'm here thirty eight percent, and I think that's the first time that they don't. And care also, the- has actually won out. I think so, and the fact that uh, it's the closest that we have between two teams, but it was also the biggest yeah. blowout that we've seen in, in a game yeah. as well. So very, very true, very crazy. Very true. So, so very everyone true. was wrong. <laughs> yeah, everybody sucks. <laughs> but, um, we definitely want to thank you guys for being here. We truly appreciate each and every one of you. Like like we did state, um, we will have premiere set up for the games that we're able to do for Wild Card Weekend. Um, if we're able to do ninety percent, then that's what we'll do. If we're not, like I said, we'll definitely let you know. And Zach said he will put up a uh, poll on the community tab. So please check that out. I'm trying to post more on the community tab. I'm going to get Zach to try to post more on the community tab. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes we'll just post pictures. We'll post comments. We'll post polls. Um, just different things that's all you know sports related. That doesn't have to be just sports, but it's sports related content. Uh, you know, and you also you guys can respond to those polls and, and and ask questions or even post links to videos that you think you might want us to uh, do in the future. Um, and that and- is a link to the Discord as well. Yes, which has been growing, and there's a lot of different things. If you want to just talk sports, we have a channel for that. If you want to just talk about yeah. the food that you sent or that you're eating for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, you can post that in there too. Come have a conversation, man. It's a community. We all we're all friends around here. All you guys that come in here and talk to us and make our days a little bit better, we appreciate you. Mm-hmm. And you know, y'all y'all are friends to us, man. So feel free, come talk about whatever, man. Y'all know us. We talk about everything Almost under definitely. the sun. Pretty, yeah, we, yeah. There's not much we're not too knowledgeable. On. We might not be like scholars, but we know a little bit. We know a little bit, a little, <laughs> a little bit, bit, everything. bit of everything. <laughs> so, uh, but once again, appreciate you guys for being here. And with that, we will end the stream. Uh, my name is Not Fiction. This is my co-host Zach. This is Real Fan Sports, your media entertainment uh, solution to all the other things that you know that just don't work for everybody else. So appreciate you, <laughs> love you. And with this game, Georgia defeats TCU with a very close win, yeah. sixty-five to seven. <laughs> You're so close, so close. <laughs> but <laughs> if you flip it, TCU actually won 70 or 65. <laughs> facts, facts. But appreciate you love I'm you guys. I'm dyslexic. And we'll catch you <laughs> on the next one. Peace out, y'all. Peace <laughs> out. Peace out.